Why, hello there. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Whatever time it is for you, thank you so much for joining me and welcome to tonight's stream. Oh man, it is time for some variable barricade. I am ready to see what the hell this game has in store for me. Um, oh, it th has thrown me for so many loops and I'm just like, what else could you do to me today, game? Let's find out. <laughs> so, you know, let's head over to the screen. Hello, hello, hello. It's me. And, uh, oh, please load. <laughs> so we are on Taiga's route now. Um, and we are in his second board, which I believe there are only, well, there's only one more board after this. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. Oh, we're starting off with the hiccups. So, um, we should be okay to just pop right back in. So, all right. Our next item is a conciliatory flan. It's, her, it's so conscientious. I'm so conscientious of Taiga. It's hard to be around him. I'm confused and stressed. Why did I pop into the common board? Yeah, so I'd like to play this event. First I need some water. Oh my god. You know it's bad when a straw is getting away from you. And you're like, my straw! My straw! It's, it's just me doing that. Alright, the next morning. My body went through my normal morning routine, but my mind raced as I thought about last night's events. Oh, that's right! This is right after he pinned us to his bed and said really weird things. Yes, I'm aware I probably relied on Taiga for too many things. And yes, I probably went to his room too often, and I guess I might have acted too casually around him as well. I needed to correct my behavior, and Taiga had tried to bring it to my attention. Okay, but he didn't really have to go that far, did he? My cheeks burned at the thought of what happened in the bedroom. <laughs> That's a sentence. <laughs> Not like that. Uh, I had no idea how I was supposed to handle that. To make things worse, if my behavior until now had been improper, then how am I supposed to act around him now? Being cautious, him calling me cute. What was he trying to do to me? Uh huh? There was a knock. I nearly jumped out of my skin, just like I just actually literally did because someone dropped something above me. My upstairs neighbors have been running all over their apartment. So, fun. <laughs> Ah, it's time for- it's time for breakfast. Can I eat my food up here? <laughs> I'm on my way! Alright, leaving my room is the first step, but... I had no clue how I was supposed to react if I ran into Taiga. Wait, no, I'll- I'll be fine. He's undoubtedly still asleep. He's never awake at this hour. <laughs> Fuck! I yelped with a start. Taiga looked- or Taiga stood behind me looking confused. Um, after what you've done? Yeah, I- I- I do act surprised. Oh, why are you awake? You're never up at this hour of the morning. Fuck. Uh, well, but... So you got How can he be so calm about it? I held back my budding annoyance, trying my best to keep my voice calm. Yes, about last night. Hmm? Let's both forget anything happened, alright? I'm sure that would be more convenient for you too. I quickly mumbled, hoping that no one overheard. Taiga smirked and lifted his chin, thinking. <laughs> あの女も可愛かったしね。うん。ね、へい、イーワー
I could only stand there and watch as he climbed the steps to the second floor. He was just going to sleep now? What was he saying about a disciplined lifestyle? Not only that, he'd done it again. Calling me... Cute? Ugh. Would he ever get tired of teasing me? With nowhere else to project my annoyance, I gave the floor a good solid stomp. Like a petulant child. Lunchtime. As usual, I sat with Samugi. Absolutely fed up with Taiga, I took this opportunity to vent all my frustrations about him. I always knew he had a bad attitude, but this really takes the cake. Where does he get off telling me to be more careful? Ugh, oh, he's so arrogant. I just started thinking he might be a decent person too, but no, I take it all back. He's nothing but an insufferable, unemployed layabout with an insufferable attitude. Samugi quietly absorbed my litany. A wry smile curled her, curled her lips slightly. More than that. Her smile turned gentle. I paused for a moment, then started to speak. I've been going to him to vent lately. He knows my situation. He even volunteered to help me. And well, I didn't want the others overhearing me, so I'd go to his room. Um, almost every night. Even <laughs> Subuki's like, oh. But then last night he asked me not to act so casual about visiting his bedroom. Samuki sighed and shook her head. Hmm, <laughs> Amok would be grateful for that. But he's a lead observer. Why shouldn't they feel safe and secure around him? I don't know how I feel about that. I three quarters represent that statement. And I'm a cat! Asshole. Mm -hmm. That was no fucking accident. What? Samugi looked at me, I'm blinking. I looked away from her. Um, and... I prompted Samugi to continue, unsuccessfully pretending that nothing had just happened. She gave me a curious look and then continued to speak. Her tone was gentle, but I was clearly being lectured. Well, I didn't have to do it like that. Mm. Oh my god. What fucking boots are they wearing? They're wearing like fucking steel toed boots. And I have. I have knocked on my. on my goddamn, um. ceiling with a broom! I have knocked on my ceiling! And they haven't stopped. <sighs> Of course not, I would never. I had snapped, of course, I just couldn't say so. I mustn't snap, I must act normally, naturally. I repeated that in my head like a mantra, taking deep breaths as I got out of the car. Thank you, Casca. Thank you. I must be calm. Sorry. Back. Huh? I hurriedly turned in the direction of the voice and saw Taiga casually strolling towards me. Be natural. I surreptitiously took a deep breath and, with the exhale, opened my mouth to speak. And you're heading out? Well, isn't that special? Ugh, oh, how stupid am I? After how hard I'd pushed myself to stay relaxed and act naturally. For your advice. Oy, oy. Mm. I was annoyed how I couldn't seem to stop myself from being snippy around him. Unsure what I might accidentally say next, I simply glared at him and kept my mouth shut. Hmm. Oh, and what does that mean? Taika rolled his eyes, his voice irreverent. For some reason, the irreverent gesture pricked at me. I 
still didn't know what to say, so instead I turned and hurried back into the house. After dinner, hoping for some quiet time to collect my thoughts, I slipped past the others and went out into the yard. This isn't going well at all. <sighs> I sighed, looking down at the grass. Right then, something cold touched my cheek. Eh! I turned my eyes back up to see Taiga holding out a small cup of flan. Where did you get that? <laughs> where, did you, where did you get that? Th thank you? It's been a while since I've had flan. Um, thanks? <laughs> I hesitated a moment and then took the offer. <laughs> As I did, Taika settled down next to me. I glanced out at the cup of flan and noticed writing on the side of the plastic. In large letters, it said Taiga. Wait, your name is on this one. When Taiga wrote his name on something, there was a reason. Wasn't this something he didn't want to give up? I looked back at Taiga. He grinned lazily and shrugged. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> he knows the way to my heart is with sweets. <laughs> now? Okay. I tugged off the foil lid. After a pause, I took up the teeny plastic spoon and scooped up a bite. I love small. Small spoons. Small cutlery, small things, dollhouse size stuff. Makes my heart go doki doki. Oh, it's tasty. Compared to the flan I normally had, its texture was poor and it lacked any depth of flavor. But there was something strangely comforting about it. No, I suppose so. I quietly scooped up another bite and started to panic inwardly. But the flan was clearly meant to open an opportunity. Given his job on the inside, Tega couldn't afford to let our relationship stay awkward for long. And he was skilled at conscientious gestures like this. But I'm afraid that if I open my mouth, I'll just say something rude to him again. Every spoonful I Every spoonful of flan I scooped from the cup pushed at me like the ticking of a clock. The thin layer of watery caramel sauce on the bottom had just seeped into the flan's lighter tan layer when Taiga suddenly asked me a question. <laughs> What? I... I thought... I thought you said you didn't want us to come to your room anymore. Given... Given me mixed signals here, Taiga. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucker! If this somehow surprises you, of course I'm not gonna go. Why would I? Now... <laughs> Is this an apology, Flan? I'm not accepting it. I'll be accepting the Flan! But not the apology. I mean... Yeah... Not really. Yes, having someone like Taiga to whom I could air my grievances was extremely important to me. Simply knowing that I didn't have to put up with it all... That there was someone I could go to for help took such a weight off my shoulders. Maybe... It wasn't really because I wanted to vent. Maybe I was only looking for an excuse to go spend time together with him. Because it's fun. <laughs> if I needed excuses of, or if I made excuses about needing to complain, I could go see Taiga and talk with him whenever I wanted. Realization slowly sank into me. But just because it's fun doesn't mean I could get carried away and lean on him too much. That's what he was getting at, wasn't it? I'm fine now. I carried another bite of flan in my mouth. The mild sweetness kept sour words at bay. Once I finished the little cup, I would apologize to him. Then we would go back to the way we used to be. Just as I cemented that thought in my mind... Eh? Huh? Oh! Oh! お嬢の口聞くのもさ。いいし。You're kidding. 
He paused, running his hand through his hair in a gesture that was part nervousness, part embarrassment. Yes! Yes, you resorted to drastic measures, and you pushed me very far, and I didn't like it. Yes. You scared me a lot. You scared me a lot, Taiga. It's gonna take... It's gonna take more than one flan to fix it, okay? It's gonna take multiple flans. Many flan. And sweets. Lots of sweets to fix it. Sweets to eat. And sweet words, too. Okay? Understand? Are we in agreement? Good. His sudden kindness left me at a loss for words. <laughs> Uh-huh. But... There it was. Taiga's familiar mischievous smirk surfaced again as he peered at me from the corner of his eye. <laughs> Why are we thinking about this now? I will never go to your room again. I said I won't, so I won't. Hey, hey. Okay. Fine. Fine. Mm. And with that, he got up and went back into the house. Damn it. Filled with awkward emotions I couldn't put a name to, I, I dashed back up to my room. I went straight to my bed and dived into it headfirst. Oh! That man! Oh! I flailed my feet against the covers like a child throwing a tantrum, but the strange emotion held fast to my heart. Then he began to thank him. Not only that, I cornered him in making his apology, and I even forgot to say thanks for the flan. I'm so embarrassed with myself. Why could I never act like a normal person around him? I always seemed to mess up. The harder I tried to ignore him, the less I knew I'd act around him. I automatically wound up saying nasty things to him because I wanted to hide how flustered I was. How had this happened? It wasn't long ago that I'd been able to talk to him like a normal person. I pulled out my phone, still unsure of how to properly... How to handle the weird feelings rolling around in my chest. Properly was not even in that sentence. I need to ask Samugi for advice. But how do I even bring it up? Ah, oh, what is going on with me? What am I supposed to do now? I dove under my bed covers in a desperate attempt to escape the confusion tumbling about in my head. Hmm. All right. A conciliatory plan, clear. <sighs> Next up is the gambler. One weekend, Tiger invites me to play cards with him. It's only a game, but he makes odd choices. We can get a CG here, too. My weekends had always been busy days full of activity. Since I moved into this house with the others, they'd only become busier. This weekend was an exception. Maybe it's because Ichia and Nayuta are out for the weekend. Those two account for most of the noise here. Thinking on that, I headed towards the living room. I bumped into Taiga on his way out. Taiga, are you going out, too? Oh. No, you're probably just off to blow money on Pachinko. I didn't try to hide my exasperation. He gave me a weird look and shook his head. Mm. What? what? But his background report called him a gambling addict. If he was addicted to gambling, wouldn't any chain any give a chance scratch that itch? My brow furrowed as I puzzled over the thought. Taika must have read my mind because he nodded and went, ah. Taika! Big meeting! Competition! Convention! Other stuff like that! I connected a vocab word! Where did this come from all of a sudden? Still, it's very sudden. Oh, okay. 
hey! I got didn't respond as he dashed up the stairs. <sighs> he is always so demanding. With my schedule decided for me, I plodded into the living room. Xi'an was present, drinking tea with swan-like grace. Hi, Xi'an! My alternate universe husband! Kotori-chan <sighs> Hi, Xi'an. He gestured smoothly to the teapot on the table, but I shook my head. I've been informed I'm playing cards with Taika in a moment. You can join us if you'd like. Xi'an smiled and put his tea set his teacup down on the table. Okay. I mean, I guess it kind of would be awkward to have my alternate universe husband and the guy I'm romancing in this universe. Uh -oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Found out. What? I blinked to Shion in confusion. He stood without a sound and glided out of the room. Eh? As he passed me, he quietly said, Eh? 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 As he disappeared through the door, a good deal of tension lifted from his shoulders. Sean is frighteningly perceptive. I just stretch for a second. <sighs> yeah, you made me wait for a while. I had to have an awkward conversation with my alternate universe husband. I'm in a hiccup, I think. Or, uh... Yon was the other option. <laughs> I sat in silence, not saying a word. Curious and confused, Taiga leaned over and looked at me. <laughs> I quickly got up, not sure I could keep the embarrassment off of my face. I practically dashed to the living room. We're going to the dining room table, right? Why wait? Come on! Hi, hi. <laughs> We're so awkward. He followed me into the dining room and we took seats opposite each other at the table. <laughs> nope, not familiar with the rules of poker. Oh, apparently we are. <laughs> I nodded, my hand and my eyes immediately drawn to Taika's hands with the deck of cards in them. Hmm. Wait. Hmm. Think, think. Concentrate. He de he definitely chuckled. He definitely chuckled the deck. Okay, cool. He definitely shuffled the deck. <laughs> the brightly colored cards made a pleasant hissing noise as they danced between his fingers. He's rather practiced at shuffling. <laughs> as I watched him efficiently cut the cards, I was struck by a curious thought. I said, Say, about earlier, I taken you for someone who loves gambling in all its forms, but you said you're a bit particular about what you like to play? Ah, Nihon no koei gamble ja. No manga ne kara na. Oh, koe. Koe is in government. Oh. I'm connecting vocab words. <laughs> Adventure? How so? Douse kakeru n dattara, motto dekai yume ni kaketai daro. So you're the type to lose the shirt off your back. Sore koso, ippatsu atere ya nan ni mono jinsei ga maru goto kaeru kurai no mai. Oh. Nakara kaigai ja, iroiro yatta zo. Card ni roulette. Oh my god! Upstairs neighbors, please! Calm yourselves. Stop stomping! Oh. Oh. I did not know that. I also have not been to Vegas. Um. Jimmy Christmas. Um, I've not been to Vegas. Ever. And I, have, I have no real desire. But I may end up going just to say I've been. <laughs> oh, did you? I mean, it's a little hard to believe. Not a lot of people make it big in Vegas. If you really not made that big of a killing, you wouldn't be here right now. Uh-huh, how big? 
Tucker gave me a bitter grin and a shrug. A short, awkward silence fell, which he broke with a cough. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Because I, I actually don't know poker. Alright. Literally, if you put me at a poker table, put a gun in my head and said play, I'd literally just be like, just, just shoot me. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I know how to play blackjack. I know how to play blackjack. Ish. Ish. A bit. I like playing blackjack. In games. <laughs> um, I only ever played it in, um, Harvest Moon. They had a blackjack parlor where you could get a lot of monies, and I spent so much monies on blackjack. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, but next time. And I'm like, ah, I can see how this could be extremely addictive. I'm not even betting for real monies. Alright, he stopped fiddling with the deck and quickly dealt out a hide of cards in front of both of us. Watching his smooth and practiced movements gave rise to more questions in my mind. I hear you went overseas a lot. Was it also that you could gamble? Hmm, that's good, that's good. I enjoy broadening my horizons outside of Melrose, yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. Please, stop. Uh huh. You had a ritual of gambling. Oh. That wasn't the answer I had expected. He saw my surprise and laughed. <laughs> yes, the game is started. Alright. I never actually gambled, but I have taken a tour of a casino. I think this is how it works. I thought back on the rules of the game, checked my hand, then placed a few chips in the middle of the table to see how you'd react. But. Yes. Eh? Uh, what? You're betting everything. Yes! And so he played a few hands. I always made sure to leave myself a few chips just in case of trouble. But Taiga? He always went all in. At first I thought he didn't take me seriously as an opponent, but he never seemed mad when he lost. Are you sure you shouldn't be more conservative with your bets? If you go all in and lose, you get wiped clean. Witnessing the repeated losses was painful. Taika laughed and answered, Uh-oh. According to him, say you bet 100 yen and win 10,000 yen. Then you bet that 10,000 yen and lose it all, coming away with a total of zero yen. But if you think about it, all you really lost was 100 yen. The other 9,900 yen was merely a dream. No. 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 That's not how it works at all. Really, that's not how it works. God. Just, just try to wrap my brain around that, that line of logic was like... Not working. <laughs> well, that's like the people who are like, We only lose money when you cash out. If you're still playing... And you haven't cashed out, you haven't lost anything. I'm like, that's a dangerous line of thinking. But if you, yeah, if you kept that 10,000 yen, wouldn't you be that much richer? Um, okay, I'm moving on, because that doesn't make any sense to me. I frowned at him. I didn't like that answer. <laughs> he just laughed again. Something tells me that I should remember this sentence. Uh-huh. Fuck! No! What? If you lose, you die. But if you win, any wish you want. The world doesn't work like that. The world doesn't work like that. My wish? There's no way you could fulfill my wish. Not you as one person. And there are no real genies, unfortunately, not in this world. 
All the genies are back in Melorosia. Well, not not in Melorosia, but Shimmy. Fucking Christmas. Sir, your logic is so warped it hurts my brain. How could he not know the answer to this one? I sighed and narrowed my eyes as I replied. Of course not, why would I? You'd bet away your life. What? But if you lost... Taiga! Taiga, are you not aware how rigged most of these games are? It is rigged so house wins. That is how casinos keep running. It is all rigged so that house always wins. Or, you know, most of the time the house wins. Ah, uh, you're just, just killing yourself then, my dude. The way he thought was so utterly different than me, I could not but stare in disbelief. Baffled, I looked at him and said, but then completely defeats the point. Fuck! <laughs> Logic doesn't work with this man! Logic doesn't work with this man! How could he take it that gracefully? I don't think that's graceful. I think that's just defeatist. How could he take that bet so nonchalantly? That's not what we said! If that was what it said, I would have chosen that one more. Watching how exuberantly you make your bets, I have to wonder if you're afraid of loss at all. Are you sure that you aren't eager to throw away your life like a poker chip because you just don't have enough things to care about? My voice was soft, hesitant, but he gave me a brilliant smile. Hey. That sounds both free and terribly lonely. We have friends, right? And the children of the orphanage need to care about you a lot. So Moving on. He didn't have anything. He owed his whole life. His fate was thoroughly his own. He could do whatever he wanted. Part of me was instantly envious of the sheer freedom his transient life afforded him, but that sounds terrifying. Oh, so much freedom was frightening. I don't understand how you can think like that. I spoke quietly, almost to myself. Taiga shrugged and gave me a rice mouth. Yeah. Well, that was it. Oh, heck up and then a yawn. Lovely. True. I don't want to think about that. I don't want to think about Grandpa Gone Wild. What? Oh my god. Grandpa has a hellraiser. That was frightening. But in Ojo's case, I'm good, thank you. Listening to Taiga's story, I thought I was a little closer to understanding what Grandfather told me before. He said that the reason he chose the these four as my suitors was because all of them fill a gap by missing my own life. Fill a gap? Was Grandfather hoping to teach me something by choosing you as one of my suitors? Uh -huh. Yes, I know, you're the observer. But was that really all there was to it? Grandfather did tell me to learn about all of them, Taiga included. Not only that, the more I talked to Taiga, the more I realized that my knowledge of the world contained huge gaps. When I read his background report, I thought he was a worthless human being. <laughs> he capped my gambling addiction! Holy fucking shit! Now that I heard his side of the story, he didn't strike me as a worthless addict after all. No addict is worthless, Game Prince! <sighs> wow. Why do you say that you're a gambling addict then? Take a grimace and looked away from me. Ah, Oh? 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 
、無事すっからかんになったりしてない。所持金使い果たすのもザラだし。それでもやめねえんだから。ギャンブル表って言われても仕方ねえよ。Oh man. Why do you gamble to commemorate your trips? Why not take a souvenir or take pictures or something? And there is the addiction service. Again with the thrills. I rolled my eyes, then I asked him something that had been on my mind. If you did win a lot of money, what dream would you spend it on? So, Dano. Is she was on the grass, Oka? Mm hmm. Liar. You're not that kind of person. If you were, grandfather would never let you near me, even I know that much. Mm hmm. My bashful statement earned me a sh shrug and wolf ride grin from Taiga. We really are complete opposites. The more I learned about him, the more I realized as much. There were a lot of things I could learn from him. If I didn't let myself get caught up in appearances and took a closer look at who Taiga was as a person, then maybe something inside me might change. Well, tell me the dream you'd spend your money on, for real. Kimitsu. Oh, come on! Why didn't you just tell me? Uh, that's bad. Not gonna happen. <laughs> I could learn a lot from Taiga, yes, but I was starting to suspect it would take a long time. I heaved a sigh and flicked at the plastic chips scattered across the table. I've, I've been like, sur not surreptitiously, but kind of like in the back of my mind, been thinking about every time I would play Blackjack and Harvest Moon. I never bet everything. I never bet everything. I always bet small amounts that I could afford to lose. Which I guess, <laughs> considering that I was probably in middle school at the time, <laughs> it was a very, a very measured and mature thing to do. <laughs> oh. Girls' Day Out! Samugi invites me to a girls' day out with Arimura. It's a trap! She wants, just wants to grill me about Taiga. Lunchtime! Samugi put her fork down and gave me a brilliant smile. Mm-hmm. I do, why? Huh. Okay. A girl's day out! I've heard of them, but I never really participated in one before. The chance to talk with Arimura, too. I'd love to! Uh-oh. Sumuki nodded cheerfully and flashed a bright smile. And I completely missed the shadow of a plot that loomed at the edges of that smile. Uh-oh. I don't think I've ever been to a girl's night out. Now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever really been to a girl's night out. I mean, that probably has something to do with the fact that I don't like being called a woman. So, you know, <laughs> that's probably on me. <laughs> After class, the Mookie and I went to a Shibuya cafe where Arimura was already waiting for us. She had, of course, already completely transformed out of her, her mild school persona. Arimura was her typically laconic self. Samugi simply grinned and said nothing. Each of us ordered our drinks and desserts, taking a moment to breathe a sigh of relaxation. I'm having a girl's day out! Butterflies of excitement danced to my stomach, but then Samugi looked at me with a smile of anticipation. No, thank you. Um... Eh? All the sundry pertinent details? She basically told her everything! And she clearly planned to make me spill more! It's a girl's day out just to get snagged on to... It's a girl's day out about... Oh my god. Why can I not read that? It's a girl's day out just about getting snagged in this kind of trap. I feel stupid for being excited for it. I bit my lip feeling awkward. Sumiki noticed and gave me a solemn look. Eh? Uh, I, I quite like 
Happy secrets. Kakure hug mo, kakure kiss mo. Nash desu wa yo. Secret hugs and kisses. Hugs? I haven't done anything of the sort. Why would I? Sumugi gleefully pushed and they desperately veered away. Animata sighed, already tired of the show. あの、ずっとこんな調子なわけ。聞いてもないことをベラベラと。Oh, I swear, it is a herd of elephants. Is there a moving truck outside? Hold on, I'm gonna go look outside for a moment. And by look outside, I mean just kind of look out the window. So, uh... Enjoy some music as I... Try to figure out what the hell is going on outside. <laughs> or upstairs, I should say. See. Now, if I go to the other window, ah. <laughs> stab myself with a chair. I keep seeing you in the truck. Oh, my goodness. What the hell? Oh, I probably need to water my little succulent. Oopsies. <laughs> figure anything out so I'll just increase my volume on my end so that I can hear stuff all right I didn't hear the game and not the footsteps slamming on my door or on my went up ceiling all right moving on <sighs> There was no getting out of this. I heaved a heavy sigh and gave in, talking slowly. Once I learned Taiga was only an observer, I did go to him for help. On a lot of things. That part is true. I watched him for a little while and he was really was doing what Grandfather asked of him. He kept the other suitors on a leash by maintaining the rules, too. He always seems savvy about what I'm feeling. He'll scold me when I honestly need to be rebuked, but he's also at my side to support me when I need it. I thought back to our talk in the yard and the sweet taste of the flan. Somebody. あなたはイスルギさんの責任感の強さ。誰にでも平等な心、大人の優しさに魅力を感じているわけですわね。I am not. I didn't mean any of that in a romantic sense. It's it's more that I have how to put it. I just respect him as a person. そうですの? Yes, I'm sure. As I desperately fought it off Smokey's gleeful attempts to romanticize everything, Arimura suddenly spoke up. でもまあ、それは監視役だからって可能性もあると思うけど。Hmm. What do you mean? Oh, ほら、みんな。今まで隠れてフォローしてたのが今度はあんたにもわかるようになった。だから距離が近く感じてるだけかもってことは。うん。大体登場がタイガさんに安心して頼れるのも監視役だからでしょ。Exactly. Well, お互いに行くからず思っているのは明白。確実にロマンスの扉は開いてますわ。え、ギャス。けど、タイガさんはもともと花婿候補じゃないんでしょ。ロマンスを始めてどうするの？うん。Well, um, actually, grandfather said he wouldn't mind if I chose Taiga. 花婿にしたいわけ？I didn't say that. ちだよ。うん。I don't know how I feel, okay? I have to admit that Taiga Isuruki's presence in my life was notably growing larger, but uh, but he doesn't give me no romantic light at all. I mumbled my own rebuttal as I dropped my eyes. 
つまりあなたはおいあのおい無責任に煽るのはやめときなって本人がそう言うんだからきっとそうなんでしょ今はうんそうですわね Now, he doesn't give me a romantic lead off. Spooky pounded, pounded, pounded at Adimura's interruption. Reluctantly, she nodded inside. とりあえずよくわかりましたわ。今はそういうことにしておきましょう。けれど、もし何かあったら、いつでも相談してくださいますね。私たちがついてますから。うん勝手に私を頭数に入れないで。はいはい、ツンデレオツですわ。あんたね<笑> The two of them began to bicker. I let it go in one ear and out the other as I took a sip of tea, which was now about as warm as a slush puddle. New developments. Right. Nothing like that will ever happen. Taika and I had grown much closer together than I knew. It felt like he was much more obviously kind to me now, too. I could tell he was trying to do the right thing for me. Is it any wonder I almost got the wrong idea? It's funny. たまーにかわいい顔を見せられるとグッとくることあんだろ<笑>無防備に距離詰められたらそこそこドキッとするっつうか<笑> For a moment, right then, I thought that he might actually see me in a romantic light as a man <laughs> as a potential marriage candidate That realization shook me But afterwards it Didn't take me long to realize that his attitude towards me hadn't changed a bit. Not、uh, the only one who'd felt anything was me. That completely changed my mind. I realized that he only ever intended to warn me as a general courtesy, that's it. It wasn't because we were alone together, it was because that was a bad situation any man could find himself in with any man. <laughs> oh, the gender there didn't quite work. <laughs> that's the only reason he did that. And I haven't been back to his room since. I just can't bring myself to go. He said he didn't mind if I visited, but now I was far too aware of the implications to do it. Though if I did, I'm sure he would just greet me with his usual and concerned smile.、Uh -huh. I blinked and looked up. Apparently, Samuki and Narimura must have finished their quarrel because both of them were looking at me. It's nothing really, I'm fine. It's just. I really don't understand men. Smoking out, he might have said nothing. They simply looked at each other and exchanged an ambiguous smile. You want to let me in on that? Or not? Or not? All right. I'm going home, thank you. My suitors get into an involved discussion about how attractive I am. But Tega's response is. Uh huh. Uh huh. Late afternoon on a lovely day. I sat out on the patio enjoying a nice cup of tea. Next to my tea saucer was a plate of cake and cookies. And across the table sat. Gojo, keep it. Eh? Huh? Or no touch about the year, Kotoja Neto, but the Zuto Tai the Kitago. Eh? Yep, but where? Gojo no Koto. Eh? Looking embarrassed, Tiger ran his hands through his hair. His cheeks started to turn pink. Oh my gosh, is he going to. My heart lurched and my mouth opened of its own accord. Um, actually, I, I do too. Daga jumped out of his chair to, to, to kneel at my side? <gasps> I know this is a Jerry i n v o o He leaned forward and his lips drew towards mine. Is he going to. Oh my gosh! Where do I go? A dream? I must have said that aloud because Kasuka turned and gave me a curious glance. Doka no say must have. No. What's got in a yo this me? Kitakustara, Scossi, a smarteva. Yes, I think I might do just that. <laughs> Kasuka was still obviously curious, but he said nothing and turned back around. Once I was sure he was facing front and let out the breath I'd been holding. What a strangely vivid dream. I can almost feel the warmth of Taiga's breath pass across my lips. What's up with these weird dreams? Sheesh. I knew that Taiga would never actually say anything like that to me. It never even crossed his mind because he didn't see me in that light. 
had to pull myself together. By the time the car pulled up in front of the house, all the heat had drained from my cheeks. I got out and handed my bag to Costco, as I always did, and walked towards the open front door. Hi, Mom! Oh, walked across to open the front door. The front door was not open. Okay. Normally, Naito would dash over to see me like a throw puppy the moment I opened the door, but he didn't today. I didn't see any sign of Ichi either. But I did hear sounds from the living room. Their voices, talking animatedly about something. Curiosity took me and I cautiously and soundlessly made my way towards the living room. Uh-oh. What are they so excited about? I opened the living room door. Tiny cracks that I could hear them more clearly. Uh-oh. Oh no, it's Prince. It's a Prince Prey session. Uh-huh. Alright, you masochist. Thanks. Ugh, don't they have anything better to talk about? I rolled my eyes and turned to leave, but a little corner of my mind told me to hang on. For some odd reason, it felt like they were talking about someone else, not actually me. Yes, many people did see me as a reserved but intelligent person with a level head. I put a lot of effort to project that appearance around others, after all. But that's just how I acted as the Tojo family heir. I didn't want to shame the family name, after all. But that facade I put on as the Tojo family heir... If someone asked if that was the real me... え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?え?
Knights had not in an agreement, a place to be standing behind the living room door and ringing the doorknob. Oh no, I can already see what's about to happen! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up about my boobs! Ah, yeah, that's my boobs! Oh, yeah, Poor doorknob started to creak in my face and observed the print of my anger. What is that man's problem? <laughs> 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 hey. Oh, that's the talk of a man who's never seen boobs. <laughs> a good time. Oh. So that's what this is all about. Hmm. It's all about having a good time with you, isn't it? So Renarini Atomaga, Yapa Mibai Moiji. Well, excuse me for lacking in such a vital department. Ozuna, or eh? That's again. Taiga, Soro Soro. She looks like she ought to see the bomb explode, and he's like, oh god, please, oh god, please, oh god, please. Sasaka, does she? まあ、まあ、何年かしたらお嬢もそれなりに育つかも。で、それはねえか。This isn't funny。タイム。僕知らないからね。シオンさん、さっきからどこ見てるんですか？ドアの方に何か。It's like, oh shit. Trying to pander to me only makes it worse. だから俺、お嬢さんはすごくすごく運動しにくそうだなって思いますけど。あれは絶対運動向きだろ。タイガさん。けどまあ、あの嬢がいきなり胸だけ成長してもビビるし、別に今のままでも悪くは。タイガさ
そ,そういや胸は揉むとでかくなるって<笑> You insensitive jackass you single minded pervert い,いやお嬢最後まで聞けってこの話にはオチがあってないお嬢の魅力は胸以外に Shut up Don't try to warm out of this I was so angry my shoulders were heaving The other three leaned close to t a i k a n whispered in his ear The fucking dub, now you're talking. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 I'm Something blew up beside me before I knew what I was doing. I dashed out of the living room. Yeah, that didn't make it better. I ran up the stairs and bolted into my room. Casca saw me and, unaware of the circus downstairs, smiled. Ah, Later! I skated into my bedroom and flung myself onto my bed, still dressed in my school uniform. Leave me alone! Casca tried to speak from behind the door, but I snapped at him and sent him away. I buried my face in my pillow and bit my lips so hard I probably left marks. He pricked at the corner of my eyes, but I told myself it was just my imagination. It's not like Taiga's utter lack of tact is anything new. And he's teased me about my bus size before. So why am I this upset about it this time? It was never a fun thing to hear, true, but that wasn't all. This time, the remark felt like a weight that pressed on my lungs with a painful jabbing weight. I had no idea what the pain was. But, Taiga only likes big chested girls. Someone like me who doesn't have much of a chest. Oh, that thought crossed my mind. Pain jabbed me again like someone was stabbing me with a cold blade. I bit my lip harder. That jerk! Big fat blind jerk! He said he thought I was cute. Liar! Deviant! I'm never gonna speak to him again! I sent an anger fueled text to Samugi. He really was the worst. A few minutes later, my phone buzzed at the same time I heard a knock at my door. The phone was probably a response from Samugi. The knock could only be Casca. I hesitated, wondering to which I should respond. When the knock came again, I told him to leave me alone. Subtle choice, I heaved my tired body off the bed. I took a breath and tidied my hair before opening the door. Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. I opened the door to find no surprise, Kasuka on the other side. His expression was awkward. Hmm, what do you want? But what? Actually, I'm going to go to Kamakura. I'm going to go to Kamakura. Now? Yes. なんでも急なお客様だそうで、総上家令状としてお嬢様も会食に出席するようにと帰りも遅くなる予定なので、そのまま本家に泊まることになるかと思いますが。I see. I'll go then. I'll assume attending in my school uniform is acceptable. Yeah. Kasuka blinked at how readily I accepted the sudden trip to Kamakura. I wasn't surprised. Normally I would have complained, but I'd far rather be in the same. Rather be there than in the same house as Taiga right now. I quickly touched up my appearance and hurriedly made my way down to the foyer. I'm gonna snub him if he's there. Kasuka, I assume you heard what you have what I need for my stay. I turned around. Apparently, the others had heard me bustling about. Three pairs of eyes pe peered out of the living room at me. I am going home. Even I was surprised that I cut Casca off like that, but I managed to maintain my composure. So, this is perfect. I can see Taiga, his face still ghostly pale out, in the corner of my, out of the corner of my eye. Maybe this will make him think about what he said. I grunted in disdain and turned my back on all of them. I stayed at the Kamakura estate for a time and let them think about how much they had upset me with their discussion. Without another word, I followed Casca and left the vacation home behind me. Well, 
Oh, I'm going home. Thank you. <laughs> Understandable. All right. <laughs> I love this. Making a clean breast of things. In my room with the maid of state, I think back on the day before, but then grandfather comes in. Or the tea party from hell. Soon Mookie and Ani gonna invite Tiger to tea and put him on the metaphorical rack to bring out what happened. I want to see that. Abe still isn't back yet. Is he going to be back soon? I can't hope he is. That said, I doubted that he wanted to even look at me right now. Yeah, it was par for the course for me to shoot off my mouth, but even I knew I'd gone overboard. He looked about ready to cry. Jerk! My ear itches. I immediately felt a stab in my chest when he shouted. Tiger-san! <laughs> <laughs> I'm having so much trouble pulling this off. <laughs> Your phone's breaking. I snap back to reality, and sure enough, Naito is being observant for a change. My phone was buzzing. It was texting me. I doubt it was in. I listlessly flipped my phone open and looked. You're kidding me. It wasn't just any text, it was Satan's own invite to a tea party from hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're gonna get the full brunt of Smoogie. I just walked to the door of the des designated cafe when Smoogie spotted me. She waved me over with a smile. Sitting next to her, looking like she'd rather be anywhere else, was Noah. Uh huh. Uh huh. I barely plucked my butt in the seat before she was talking. She was all smiles and sunshine. It was like she'd been bored solely for meeting with me right now in this cafe. That terrified me. She either didn't realize how I felt, or she simply chose to ignore my discomfort as she chattered on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. いくら聞いても肝心な理由だけは教えてくださらなくて。うん。それで、イスルギさんをお呼び立てした次第です。私はそっとしとけって言ったのに。いや、she <笑> So, he talks about me that much. I felt my lips start to lift in a smirk. I quickly forced them back into a more neutral expression. Meanwhile, Smoogie put her hand on her cheek with melodramatic flair. <笑><笑><笑><笑> Yeah, I know. I didn't bother trying to defend myself. Smoogie made an annoyed sound. <笑>タクシたち成長期の乙女には内部の問題が山積みですのよ。目の大将を話題にするなんて問題外。それをまさか同居している男性が口に出して指摘するなんて。No。反省してる。ま、道場は特に外見とかイメージとかそういうの気に
Wait a minute. She wants to measure my reaction. That's what this is about. She's as observant as I am. First Gramps, now Babe. I wonder if people with Toja blood just happen to be genetically drawn to us conniving types. I let my gaze wander away from Samugi as I sneaked a breath to quick breath to collect myself. だから王女にもちゃんと謝る。え、それが許し方。うん。いつ <laughs> Great. How could I possibly answer this one in a way that let me walk away from this tea party unscathed? I cooked my brain for a minute, but I could only think of a really tortured excuse. Mm-hmm. Oh, are all of his friends like this? There's no warming my way out of this one. I was stuck. I grimaced and straightened my posture. Thankfully, that was enough to satisfy them. Smoogie smiled, no, it lost that keen, interested look in her eye. And with that, I was unchained and set free from the terror of the Great Tea Party Inquisition. <laughs> oh, that's great. In my main room, or in my room with the main estates, I think back the day before, but then grandfather comes in. All right, who could it be? Who could we be talking to? The next morning, the first time in a while I spent the night at the main estate. I took my breakfast in my rooms. I dazedly ate whatever food Casca put in front of me, my mind elsewhere. I'd handled the formal dinner of last night per perfectly, despite being wound, wound tight with anger. I thought it said wounded. <laughs> but the moment I returned to my room, Tyga's face and voice popped in my mind and wouldn't leave. <laughs> My mood slowly grew darker and darker as I lay in bed. I tossed and turned until dawn peeked in through the window. I barely got any sleep at all. I sighed as I listlessly shoved breakfast into my mouth. I knew Costco was concerned for me, but all I could do was shake my head. I had to get ready to go to school. Then after that... I have to go back to. But I didn't want to go back there. I didn't want to see Taiga. At least not until I collected myself. My mind was so full of thoughts that the food in my mouth tasted like so much wet paper. And it's Sumiko's cooking, too. My eyes dropped and I put my chopsticks down, but then I heard a voice in the doorway. Oh, fuck! Alright, you talk too fast, so I'm moving past you. Grandfather didn't wait for a reply. He simply barged his way to my life as usual. I glared at him. I'm not tired. I couldn't return it, refute that, so I simply frowned and looked away. Grandfather simply said his name, but that was enough for Casca to understand. He bowed. My brow furrowed as I watched Casca leave the room. A vulture is the last person I want to deal with. He must have caught on to my mood because he let out a displeased snort. Fuck off, Gramps. Not really. Mm -hmm. I stared at my hands, which fiddled in my lap. Feeling helpless, I hesitantly spoke up. Um. Is it really required for me to choose? He thought for a moment, then replied. His voice was calm, even. Mm. That was the last name I wanted to hear. I felt my heart grow even heavier in my chest. I smothered the pain and took a deep breath before I spoke. I do not find him reliable. I couldn't answer Grandfather right away. What was it that was so painful? What was it that had hurt me? I wasn't even sure myself. I doubled on my own lip in confusion, hesitating before I spoke again. I... I did revise my opinion of him somewhat. I think I almost started to see why you respect him as much as you do, Grandfather. 
But in the end, he's just an observer. That's all. He isn't there to help me. Tears pricked at the corner of my eyes. I gripped my teeth and forced them back. It wasn't a fight. <sighs> Can I assume you're calling me a child then? Am I just to be, be treated as one simply because I'm flat chested? <laughs> Nothing. I didn't want to read that from my grandfather. <laughs> grandfather looked at me curiously. I quickly looked away. Anyway, I'm fine. I can handle things myself. Hyper independence because you didn't take care of me, Grandfather. I think this one's on you. Excuse me? I stared at him, baffled. He smirked back at me. I don't want to scratch at these words. No, shut up, Grandpa. Honestly, I had. Before I'd learned his role as an observer, I'd convinced myself that Taiga was nothing more than a loud-mouthed gambling addict who was utterly devoid of coof. But he wasn't. Not really. Still, I don't think there's much to read into when he says he only likes women with big busts. Just remembering his words make my blood boil. I ran in my anger and kept my expression calm, but a little growl slipped past me when he spoke up again. That is not the issue. Fairy. How else am I supposed to take that? I don't need you to tell me that. Thoroughly fed up, I got back on my feet. As I walked away, I heard grandfather say, Fuck off. <sighs> and with that, the vile old villain shattered my tended plans to run away from my problems. Nah. Asshole. No longer a breast man. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry for that past me again. Taiga apologizes for hurting me, but then bells out a very masculine declaration. I'm still reeling. The car arrived at the vacation home. As always, Costco opened the door for me. But I don't want to get out. If I did, I'd have to see Taiga again. How am I supposed to look him in the face? <laughs> Casca's voice was curious, concerned. I exhaled quickly and got out of the car. I want to go home. Of course, this was my home now. I bit back the urge to cry and slowly made my way to the foyer. The door opened. Beyond it was... Alright, well... Alright. Yeah. I'm fine. While they talked, I covertly scanned the group, looking for a certain face. But apparently I lacked subtlety, because Xion caught on. He smiled and said, Oh. I immediately relaxed, but at the same time, I suppose Taiga was fine with prowling around the city while I was gone. The thought jabbed at my heart. Ichi probably noticed how my eyes dropped, because he spoke up hesitantly as if gauging my mood. あの、今日はイギリス風カツレツの高トレットを用意したんだ。いい格子の肉が入って、それで。うん。そ、それを薄く平らに。ああ。あの、だ、大福はどうですか?俺、近所のおばあちゃんにちょっと小さめなんで。Uh-huh. <laughs> God, you're all horrible. <laughs> you're all horrible. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ichi and Naita exchanged panic glances. I heaved an exasperated sigh. Ichi and Hi. I'm not in the least bothered about what happened yesterday. I'm not the warden of Taiga's thoughts, and I don't particularly care about his opinions. The two of you needn't twist yourself into pretzels around me. However, I want to make it clear, I will only tolerate respectful language in this house. Speak with tact or don't speak at all, am I understood? I looked at both men in turn, and each nodded enthusiastically. <laughs> Taiga-san, 
お嬢さんを守りますから<笑>いろいろ教えないとね、タイガに。Feeling a little disturbed at how enthusiastic they sounded, I went up to my room. It was nearly dinner time. The sun had set. Oh shit, I, I swallowed wrong. Oh, seriously? <laughs> It was nearly dinner time. The sun had set, and the afternoon gave way to a purple red twilight. Bye, bye, bye. Ah, fuck off. Tiger's voice answered, uh, echoed in from the foyer, and I felt my shoulders jump. Footsteps thumped, coming closer, closer. Before I realized it, my eyes were shut tight. Someone's hand landed softly on my shoulder. I managed to pry open one eye and peek. Itia looked back at me and tipped his signature wink. Oh, God. Knight had a bright grin on his face, and Xi'an was wearing his usual gentle smile. I opened both eyes to look back, my heart still beating loud in my ears. Just then. Taiga walked in, and when he saw me, his eyes popped open wide. I had no idea what to say. I looked away in awkward embarrassment. There was a long, heavy moment of silence. I heard Taiga's footsteps coming closer. Here he comes. Just wait, Taiga. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> wait, 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 what? I bit my lip in awkward anticipation when Ichi and Naita and Shion put themselves in between Taiga and I. Eh? 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 というわけだから、もうすぐ夕食だし、小鳥ちゃんはダイニングに行こう。あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、Oh, oh, um, yeah, I suppose. I brushed off Naito's so a quick glance at Taiga. Our eyes met. I quickly looked away. They're not gonna let him get a goddamn word in edgewise. Now, Ojo. Kotori Did you learn any valuable life lessons? Oh, Ojo, 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 Naito's lips dropped into an exaggerated frown. Taiga rolled his eyes and smiled. Sighed. I didn't smile. As I watched the other three gang up on him, I felt a sliver of guilt prick at my heart. That said, even if I did step over the wall they were building between Taiga and I, I had no idea what I would say to him. I opened my mouth, I doubted anything would emerge. Conflicted, I dropped my gaze and held my peace. Maybe after a little while, once I calmed down and collected myself. But, apparently the other three noticed my silence and mistook it for something else entirely. Uh huh. Are we switching perspectives? Oh, no, oh, no, one day later. Uh huh. Uh huh, which one? Like I happened to walk by and came to see what we were doing. Shion gave him a pleasant smile. <laughs> They are just 
raking him over the hot coals for this one. Hey. Were you just carrying that around, Shia? On another day. Synchronized swimming is interesting. I don't think I could ever synchronize with anyone while swimming. Synchronized swimming? Why is that? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, well, so what? <laughs> they are just, oh my god. And later in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I seem to have dropped my. my uh... Oh, no. Don't, don't auto. Uh, I'm you... Don't auto. I'm thirsty. May I have a cup of milk? <laughs> is he going to say it's from cows? What? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Oh, what are you even talking about? <laughs> I, I feel that, Taiga. What is what? Thinking back on the past few days, I can help but sigh. Whenever he came anywhere than my vicinity, someone always jumped between us. Yes, when I initially returned from the main estates, I did want to teach him a lesson. But by this point, the other three were carrying things much too far. Every time they moved to protect me, I cringed a little. <sighs> I sighed a little. The sound must have caught Kaska's attention because he turned to me with a smile. Yes, very much so. I don't I don't think I understand this new protection squad that's formed. It's the Prince Protection Squad. I'm uncertain if I enjoy it. Yeah. Not you too. Uh oh? I looked at him curiously. His eyes became gentle. Oh, fuck. Now Koska's out for blood. He noticed. I grimaced in embarrassment. Koska just gave me another smile. <sighs> mm, I don't think that's good. Don't, please. Casca laughed at my grumbled response. I pretended not to hear as I turned and looked out the window. Is it really a good idea to leave this issue hanging in the air? Or should I step forward and let him know that I'm no longer angry? Uh-huh. He seems to be sitting back quite a lot! Uh-huh. Eh? Kaska said nothing more. His smile didn't waver as he turned around and faced forward again. What? 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 Almost time. For what? What was that supposed to mean? I turned his words over my head as I absentmindedly set one foot out of the car door. At that second, someone grabbed my shoulder and yanked. Oh, fuck. What? Wait. Hi. Could you not have grabbed me like someone who was about to molest me? <laughs> Taika! He had a firm grip on my elbow as he ignored my confusion and started to walk. Where are we going? <laughs> Kasuga, what? He shot his intent over his shoulders, Kaska, as we trotted away. Kaska simply bowed. Bye! Okay. <laughs> Where are you taking me? <laughs> we walked past the house and kept going. Ka Taika shift shifted his grip to my wrist and still we traveled. Hey, how far are we going? Where are you taking me? That's terrifying. Talk about what? I asked him a few times, but he didn't elaborate. I tried bringing up other topics, but he just answered with noncommittal noises and said nothing more. <sighs> and then there's the matter of him holding my hand. It was evening, but there were still people around. I felt their eyes watching us, noticing our joint hands. I quickly tried to, tried to tug my hand out of his. Would you let go of my hand, please? I'll keep walking with you, I promise. Tucker didn't listen. He kept walking in silence when his grip on my hand remained firm. Sir. 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 Eventually, when he finally decided to stop, we were standing in front of a small local park. 
the sun was already touching the horizon, and so there was no one else. There was no, so no one else was there but us. May I have my hand back, please? I tugged, and Tyga finally relented. His hands are larger and more rugged than I thought. Feeling awkward, I covered the hand he'd been holding my own and looked away. I couldn't seem to bring myself to look at him. Tyga likewise appeared to be having a hard time looking at me. <laughs> he stood there with his back turned. What is this going on? But then, haltingly, he made himself wheel about to face me. Oh, my Earth Mom just texted me. Nine quid. Alright. Uh, she's, she just wants to make sure that I'm settled in again. Then haltingly, he made himself wheel about to face me. Oh. Oh. I stayed quiet. His eyes dropped and he started to speak again. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Are you apologizing or trying to make me mad? <laughs> Checking on my cat. <laughs> She's like, how's the cat? Oh? Oh, okay. So she's trying to make him feel bad. つまり進展したように見えるわけだ。うん。実際あいつらにも補助にマジで惚れたのか、なんかあったのかって。うん。それまでギリで交わしてたのが、なんかあの日だけはダメだった。やたら無気になっちまって。うん。Telling my mom about my cat. <laughs> <笑>お嬢が聞いてるとは思わなかったし、かわすためっつっても、お嬢を傷つけたのは事実だ。はい。あ、you're <笑> Okay, I'll forgive you, Taiga. Taiga bowed deeply. It is Birusha? Oh, shit, so I lose my control of my controller. It is Birusha, I believe. It is like a historical game. Do, 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 do. Let me check it, let me check it, let me check it, check it, let me check it, up, 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 up. Let me check it out. Come on, come on, show me, show me, show me, show me, show me. Show me, 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 show me. Oh gosh. Uh, hold on, hold on, Bob. <laughs> it is called... Birusha, Birushana. Uh, Rising Flower of Genpe. It is a uh, historical game about, a historical Tomi game about, I believe, the. Um... Yes, it's the Heiji. Heiji. Heiji Rebellion. Um... And uh, it's. 
Uh, it's the Genji clan and the Heike clan. Yes, historical hot boys. Um... Oh, gosh. My mom is asking me if I need to go to, um... If I need to go grocery shopping this week. I, uh, I, I may. Ah, <laughs> uh, I haven't thought about that. I haven't thought about it yet. Yep, there's five, five, five boys to, to get, um, excited about. <laughs> okay, sure, that was the, that's the words we're going with. <laughs> Taiga bowed deeply. Looking at him, I said... Is that really all? Fuck! No. I'm sure you were just telling the truth. Look at that goddamn sword! Forget it, I know you were just telling the truth. You already have enough on your plate with your observer role and I made it more difficult. Okay. Yeah, apparently we're gonna- I, Apparently right now the plan is I look at it and then we'll talk about maybe doing it on Thursday. Which sounds good. Just forget it happened. I'm not mad anymore. I tapped on my irritation and let my eyes drop away from his. Taika gave me a look, frowning. I'm too tired to yell at you, Taiga. So just, you know... Take it. <laughs> Yell at him? Pardon me, what's with that lackluster response? Does he have any idea how much I've... <laughs> Does he have any idea how much I've hiccuped? <laughs> that was the straw that broke the camel's back. All the emotions I kept in check burst out of me. I could took a deep breath, filled my lungs, and let the words come pouring out. What does it matter anyway? It's not like you lied. You don't have to sugarcoat it. I know I have a flat chest, and I know that you actually like girls with big busts, and it's all just an undeniable truth. What's the point of bringing me here? Are you trying to rub my inadequacies in my face? Just leave me alone. My voice nearly raised as, in a shout as I held back my tears. Taiga grimaced and dropped his hand, head in his hands. Yeah. He rubbed his face and took a deep breath, then opened uh, his eyes and looked straight at me. I'm listening, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> I like big breasts and I cannot lie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is definitely gonna be a clip. Oh? What? I'm like just surprised. Taika suddenly looked bashful and dropped his eyes. Eh? Oh? Oh? Oh my. Oh. You... Dead? Okay. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, I'm not, I'm not equipped to deal with this! I'm not equipped to deal with this! What? <laughs> <laughs> no, shut up, I don't want to hear more! <laughs> oh my god, what is wrong with this? Let's not talk about oh, You hope was perfect. You what? Yeah, I'll show you what I can do. There are feelings. There are feelings. There are things that are perfect to bring up in civilized conversation, but things that aren't. Can you not discern the difference? Oh, Am I supposed to say call but run a Neanderthal like you? I'm going home. I suddenly feel like I couldn't bear another moment. Confused and emotional, I spun around on my heel. Gora, ah! I've barely taken a step with Tiger's hands clapped on my wrist again. <laughs> Let me go! My voice quivered as I effortlessly tucked my arm. He pulled again, turning me around and... 
barricade battle. Oh. Oh. And when I looked up, his face was right in mine. My cheeks flared with heat and I froze. Tiger gave me a quick wry smile. Bras way smooch. Eh? I I never asked you to spell. Somehow I managed to squeeze those words out. <laughs> Tiger grimaced again and started to talk. You like spicy women. <laughs> I'm 17 in the game, my dude. Oh my. Oh my. Cute. Though my heart chilled at the word, though my mouth seemingly moved on its own and said, But I was being mean and petty though. Didn't it come off as nasty? The world trailed off the word trailed off into mumble. Taika just looked at me with an indulgent smile. He wanted to say something, but his voice was clearly stuck. I could almost feel Taika's struggle as he hunted for the words he wanted. But I wasn't sure if I wanted to hear what was about to come out of his mouth. Oh my. Oh no, I have an itch. Barricade battle! Look at his goddamn mega sword. We're like, oh fuck. Yep. Fall down! <laughs> Are you gonna kiss? Are we gonna kiss? His, yeah, his super glowing big sword. <laughs> After a long pause, I mustered up the curse to break the silence. While well, you're holding me hostage until I hear you out, if you've got anything else to say, just say it. I read this much, so I'll listen. I guess it can't get any worse. I pressed my lips together and looked squarely at him. I saw his eyes widen slightly in surprise. Yeah? Come on, I haven't got all night. My voice seemed to calmness I didn't feel. Taika looked at me and... What? Eh? He broke out in a sunlit grin and took a deep breath before saying... That's gross! Why do you be so pushy over this? Yep! <laughs> you look the least bit embarrassed to me. Taiga's expression slowly became gentle, sucking all the momentum out of our back and forth. Quite, he said. Yeah? あのね、もし本当に今もただの妹だとしか思ってねえなら、俺はこんなに必死にならねえ。必死に謝ったりもしねえし、理解してほしいとも思わねえ。あは。いや、you're delayed,大哥。お嬢。自信持て。お前はいい女だ。やばいくらい最高に魅力がある。俺が保証する。Blunt save that make my mind go blank. I could make myself think. But for some reason, my body felt so much lighter. I blinked several times in an effort to collect myself. Eventually, I was able to find my voice. Like I said, why do you have to be so pushy about this? I think I made it clear that he was honestly sorry for what he did. Not only that, I learned several other things that I was not at all expecting to hear. <laughs> I brushed my finger against my cheeks and suddenly noticed they were warm. I quickly turned away from him. It's just this once, I'll forgive you. Oh, thank you. Take a smile, those little, a little sarcastic, but also a little happy. I like that smile. I felt brave enough to admit that much. But that thought alone was enough to make my heart leap. We smiled at each other, saying nothing. After a moment, Take broke the silence. Yeah, Kasuka. Kasuka's gonna fucking pitch a fit. I was reluctant, ever so slightly. But 
But I kept that feeling to myself, and I simply nodded back at him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mom. I barely sat in front. I barely sat foot inside the front door when Ichishi and Nayo had practically climbed over each other to greet me. Well, we went to the park, and things happened. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Taiga loudly cleared his throat, so gathering the brush of questions that flew at us. ええ。ええ。今日から俺はええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ。ええ
Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is for you. Yeah, Tiger's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm in bed. I'm down bad. When I just said that, I suddenly realized my lips were quirked up in a grin. Ugh, get it together, Taiga. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but I'm too cute to cheat. I'm too cute. I'm, I'm not at work, which is why I'm streaming. Oh, that is a big surprise, I guess. I mean, I could still feel the warmth of his shoulders beneath my hands. Not only that, he had blushed at me more than once. That doesn't mean there was at least something there. Even after I took off my rose-tinted glasses, I could still say that he didn't hate me. Well, probably. The million yen question was, are his feelings the same as mine? I mean, are there romantic thoughts there? Well, I have to remember who I'm talking about here. How high could I dare to raise my hopes? How close would he let me get? I wasn't sure I could even throw a guesstimate at this point. Yeah, there's a vibe. I mean, I've been streaming for almost two hours, so there, th this will be a long-ass VOD. And I will be continuing until we finish Taiga tonight. However long that takes. Yeah, what do you really want? Now you tell he wasn't actually asking you? I barely had energy. <laughs> oh, don't quick save. I barely had any energy left to roll my eyes and I just heard a statement. <laughs> yeah. Let alone telling you is totally off base. Ah, I hope you're enjoying your lunch, Phantom. All right. The final board! I have a, I have a whist message. message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Prince, step on pizza, please! Excuse me? Your legs, I thought they were really nice before Taiga ever did. So you should step on me first! Naita, breathe. I'm not gonna step on you. On anyone, not you, not Taiga. Oh no, we have it. Oh. But Taiga had a big fat smirk. I'm sure he was thinking how you he wants you to step on him. <laughs> He's not a beast, no. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. I'm sure I knew right away. Uh huh. By the way, did he say anything? Oh, not really. But he even really spaced out. Look, the look of a person desperate to be stepped on. And he was thinking of your legs. Don't think of people's legs like that. I'm not gonna step on anyone. Not even me. Not even you. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Yep. Look at those hot legs. Yeah, look at those hot legs. I'm, I'm, I'm. Uh -oh, I uh -oh. oh, that's right. I already looked at all these. Shut up, Taika. Not Yuta. Not Taika. Actually, Taika, stop. Talk more. There's your squeak. All right. Gramps plans. Taika thinks back on how he's changed since he was first asked to be the observer. Play. <laughs> oh my. All of my early memories revolve around the orphanage. Apparently I was given up soon after I was born. The only thing I had to my name was, well, my name. The orphanage was run by a church, so it was the sisters who took care of us. It wasn't bad. I grew up with a bunch of kids who were technically the same boat as me. I never felt shame that I grew up in an orphanage. Mind, I'd be lying if I never said, uh, if I never thought about the parents who gave me up, but honestly, it wasn't too difficult to accept they were gone. They had their lives, I had mine. How's that? I was a pretty laid-back kid, if I do say so myself. Oh god. Oh god. The Prince Noise compilation. I don't even think I could... The amount of money I'd have to pay someone to get that, because they'd have to go through with the, like, what, 300 hours of Prince content? How many hours of Prince content do we have? Okay, I have to look this up because now it will... Channel analytics. Uh... I started in December, like, 18th. Uh, 
December 17th. Uh, let's just do the beginning of December. Uh, 467 hours. I have streamed for 467 hours. Um. <laughs> wow. I, uh, I was not aware it was that much. Uh, wow. And I think... I don't remember how much, um... Wow! Sorry, that's just like, wow! I don't remember how much was on, uh, well, Faithful, before I moved over to Mortimer. I think like three or so months worth? Which means I don't know if it's, if it's archived. I think it's archived. Much. Oh, it's a lot. Whew, I didn't realize it was that much. Did not realize it was that much. Goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Um. But, uh, yeah, wow. Sorry, that's just like... It's still kind of sinking in. But that's almost... No! <laughs> I do, I do. Well, I can't for my house because there's rules about that. I'd love to be able to deduct my internet costs, but I can't because I don't use the I don't use this. I don't use my internet 100% for business. Um, yeah, it's crazy to think that it's almost 500 hours. Almost 500 goddamn hours. I have to know how long 500 hours is in days. So it was like, it's like 467. It's 468. 468. We'll give me 468. 468 divided by 24. That is 20 full ass days. If, if you watched Prince only, you would have 20, pretty much 20 full days of Prince content. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. I was a pretty laid back kid, if I did say so myself. And one of the main reasons I could think about it that way was because of something sister told me once. Yeah, it's almost a full month of just prints, of non-stop prints. Praying to God, huh? I turned it over my hands a few times, then tried to get back to her. <laughs> no thanks. Mm -hmm. I looked away from her guiltily. She just smiled. Oh, it's a symbol. It's a symbol of family? Okay. So, ここにいる子はみんな家族。血のつながりはなくてもロザリオがその証。だから、なんかそれいいな。すごくいい。My okay. upstairs neighbors are doing something. Uh, which normally wouldn't be terrible. They're doing something. Uh, but they are stomping around. Just stomping around. Um, and it is very loud and very annoying. Um, so I am um, annoyed <laughs> that I'm dealing with this. Don't like it. Don't like it. 
I would not be surprised. I have banged on my ceiling with my broom a couple times. It hasn't stopped. And there's not like a moving truck outside, so I don't know if anybody's moving. At least not on the side that I can see. <laughs> He's adorable. <laughs> to me, the sisters and all the kids living at the orphanage were my family. That was honestly good enough for me. A simple family, huh? Rosario. Oh. I looked up at the voice that echoed above my head. Mm -hmm. Naps. 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 Naps are good. Naps are very good. Have a good nap! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, match Assigned Catholic at birth. Gramps chuckled and rumpled my hair. I remember thinking how big and bony his hands were. I hope to see you again today. A dozen years have passed since that day. Even after I grew up and left the orphanage, me and Gramps still kept in touch. So, did you get to the next country? Eh? Mm hmm. Oh. Oh. I made a knock middle reply, trying not to let on that I've been lost in my thoughts. Hey, with the kids. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I'm going to be able to do this. I'm going to be able to do this. I'm going to be able to do Grandpa still stopped by the orphanage for visits. He didn't make a big deal of it. He just popped in like a grandpa coming in to see his grandkids. Same as he did back when I was still a kid. The sister said he was a nice old man who donated a lot of money to help the orphanage, so we were supposed to thank him. When we tried, he'd always play dumb and say, thanks for what? He was slight like that. Our grandfather funds Taiga's gambling trips? Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. But it does go against what we Mm -hmm. Does he pay with stories? Gramps idea of recompense. Oh yeah, involved me telling him all about my trips whenever I got back. That's it. At first I was convinced the whole shebang was too good to be true and I was being set up for trouble. But the more I hung out with him, the more I started to see where he was coming from. Being that rich ain't easy, everyone scrutinizes every little thing he does. I just didn't understand what it meant to be the Tojo family head when I was a kid, but now that I was a little older and wiser, I understood the weight of that title. It was so heavy, it made Gramps happy to live vicariously through my dumb stories. That's how starved he was for the freedom of aimless travel. Mm -hmm. I finished up my story up and Gramps let out a small hmm. What was it? Yeah, so they were nigh. Uchino Magomus Nemo Moto Hiro Iseka, you see by you in Nonito, Omotano. Uh huh. Ah, none there. Mata Nanikatanoga. It's a mono. Oh, yeah. Washing a yokore to Omote, the good in sons and humpers shoot. Tama, you are dead, dead, but you are in More dead, eh? Lesson. Doko de Oboita. I should think of that word. I was a Jason that the Kibishi got a bata itanara. 
そっちこそたまには出れてやったらどうだいわしはあの小娘のことを思って。難しいよ。Pearl grabs the Thames and a p p e a r s easy going whenever his grandkids came up. His grandkid came up, he suddenly turned into a mushy wuss. What? What was his name again? Prince or something?、Uh, never met him, but with how Gramps talked about him, I felt like we were already acquainted. They should be honest with each other, it hurt less. I guess even the ties between blood、But、family could fry. We sassed each other, then broke out in laughter. I like relaxed relationships, they felt comfortable. He wasn't always the best influence, but I owed him a lot. I wanted to repay him someday. It wasn't like me to get so attached to someone, but I wanted the opportunity. But on that day, I never managed to get a chance to pay back part of my debt so soon.、Mm -hmm. oh, this is weird. I visited him not that long ago. Why is he calling me back again so soon? Curious, I pass passed through the big Toja estate gate. Oh, j e e s a n Mm. Oh. Oh. The sullen look on Gramps' face threw me for a loop. I sat down across the moon and gathered my thoughts. Mm -hmm. うん。条件だけ見れば申し分のない男じゃな。ならなんで理由はまあいろいろあるが最終的には私が嫌だからじゃ。オッケー。グランプスビットアフザラストワードウィズアフラウン。I'm He does adore him to pieces. I sighed. Gramps' stern expression didn't even twitch. Okay, so Grandpa, you talk too slow. I'm skipping. Okay, 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 Grandpa, you talk too slow. Okay, グランプスは、グランプスは、グランプスは、グランプスは、グランプスは、グランプスは、グランプスは、グランプスは、グランプスは、グランプスは、グランプスは、グランプスは、グランプスは、グランプスは、グランプスは、グランプスは、グランプス
Is it better? Or is it is it still okay? Or did I fuck it up? Ah, uh, it might have been. I might have. It might. I might have bumped the table. All right, I'm gonna listen to it real quick. Shit, 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 shit. off again. Put it down. <laughs> Ugh. Why? Why? Deactivate. Activate. I'm gonna try that next. <sighs> oh! Fix. Okay, oh my god. Settings. Now I need to go back into my volume mixer. And I need to get my game capture because now I can't hear the audio. Okay. There we go. 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 Okay. Whew. We did it, guys. We did it. Back, it's back to, it's back to normal. <laughs> All right. This whole circus was starting to break trouble, but this was a personal request directly from Gramps. Mm-hmm. Yes, it would be a difficult for, job for you otherwise. So you take it. You're a Uh-oh. That's so not my style. You're a good guy. You're a なに、ただの小生意気な高級生じゃ。世間知らずの小娘に教育的指導をしてやるつもりで。へい。へい。きっと。いい。ふるる。ふるる。Okay, with the mischievous smirk. Ugh. This was Gramps we were talking about after all.
Even though I told him to spill everything, they'd still be something he conveniently forget to mention. Of course, I'd agree to take the job despite being aware of his wily ways, so I could really complain. Taiga. Yeah. Uh huh. あ、ああ。男を見せるのじゃぞ、タイガー。もし。あ、ちょっと、ポイントに言わないで。死の孫になる日が来たら。はははは。オッケー、クロス。それは絶対ねえから安心しろ。だれ、ガラハペン、
。わよ。お嬢さん、おはようございます。おはよう。おはよう。今日も君は眩しいね。うん。少しだけ待っていて。今オムレツを持ってくるよ。Thank you. I said thank you to each up <laughs> and casually glanced around the dining room. I didn't see him anywhere. Uh, where is Taiga? Tobu, Mada Niteru, Tomo, I must you. Taiga, son, Honto, and your nebo, this you know. Oh, goodness gracious. My eye itches. Oh, are Nanda Kazan and so. No, huh? What are you talking about? I'm not disappointed at all. Why would I be? お待たせお嬢さんさ、座って。おお、あ、thank you。じゃあ、いただきまーす。うん、うん、うん、うん。おいしい。うん、I'm glad you think it's good。おかわりは二皿分しかないからな。お、oh,、you can't afford this。そんな。それじゃあ、腹三分目にもなりませんよ。な、俺オムレツ以外でも大丈夫ですから。わざわざ俺に作らせるつもりか。少しは遠慮してくれ。Without Tiger around, everyone was acting like their usual selves. I felt my nervousness slowly start to drift away. Yeah, this ought to be fine. I can keep my composure around the three of them. I felt I let myself relax enough to pick up my silverware and start digging into my breakfast, but then. You're up early. He showed up the second I thought I was safe. Hmm. What was that, Ojo? Nothing. Nothing at all. Why would anything be wrong? I realized I almost got on my seat. I hurriedly sat back down and fixed my posture. Stay calm. Breathe. If I show any sign of weakness, he'll tease me in front of everyone. Now, look, Ichiya-san. Ojo-san is not enough. It's a bit of a worry. Oops. It's a bit different, but. 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 今日はなんか変だね。どうかしたのかな ?Nothing's the matter. Everything's fine.No, nothing's the matter. Leave me be. <笑> What? いや、なんでも。今日も可愛くて何よりだと思っただけ。Shocked to take his bold remarks, my hands jerked my breakfast plate accidentally flipped upside down. な、大丈夫ですか、お嬢さん。お嬢さん、制服は汚れていないかい Alpha. Shit. I'm so sorry. Fortunately, I'd finished most of my meals, so the leftovers didn't go far. My uniform is safe. Don't act so surprised this was all your fault. I shot him a glare, but he had the gall to just shrug and smile back. How could I not be after you just told me I'd turn you on? I'm not! I was barely even paying attention to you. Don't just make things up. Mm, they're not! I ducked away, discreetly hiding my treacherous flush. I grabbed my bag and got up to leave. Ichan and I thought, I'm sorry I had to clean up my mess. But, anyways, I really have to get going. Thank you for breakfast, Steve, this afternoon. Many things have gotten into me. And one of them is that、uh, Taika wishes he's been in me. Yeah, you don't know, do ya? You don't know, do ya? Oh, I'm so pathetic. <sighs> One second, gotta do a thing, gotta do a thing. This was bad, really bad. I need to regain my composure in a hurry. I'm not paying attention to Taiga. I do not think about Taiga constantly. I'm not aware of his every move at all. I repeated my mantra to myself as I walked out the door. And so, I utterly failed. School offered an all too brief refuge before I was forced to return to the den of danger. I'm home. Oh, what's good, is it? Well, you see the first person I run into. My eyes quickly moved away from his, and as if on reflex, as if on reflex, he was the king of bad timing. Oh, no, you got the man. Saki, it's your no cake, you got yaki, I got the blood. Mean that the chademos, you're there. No, thank you, I'm on a diet. Oh, 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 
Oh my. Great, I ran away again. At this rate, he'll think I'm avoiding him, and to be honest, he'll be right. Why is my eye itch now? I secured myself in my room. My thoughts racing around in circles. Dinner time arrived all too quickly. Throughout the meal, I made certain to avoid eye contact with Taiga so I could keep a grip on my composure. I'm sure it was lately clear that I was not acting like myself, but for some reason, nobody said a thing. While part of me was glad they didn't bring it up, I still felt guilty enough to retreat back to my room. What do I do now? The more I try to act normal, the more awkward things get. And not just around Taika either, I was making life weird between myself and the others too. The situation was bad, terrible, disastrous. But what can I do? A list message? Expecting it to be Samugi, I picked up my phone and swiped it open. They're on the screen. Uniko? A half an hour, my room. Oh wait, does he want me to come now? I'm waiting. Oh. I think I had to realize that things gonna stay this way. That's why he gave me this opportunity to talk. I, I should go, shouldn't I? I thought hard for a few minutes, then made up my mind. I'll be there. Geeks! Hey, meow! Hey, meow! Maybe. Um, pardon my intrusion. Half an hour later, right at the appointed time, I walked into Taika's room. Despite being half frozen with nervousness, I managed to stack into his room, somehow. I know, but now it's awkward. Now it's awkward. I, I did. That's in the past. Taiga grimaced when he saw how nervous I was. まあいいか。とりあえず適当に座ってくれ。はい。お茶を飲むか。下から持ってきたペットボトルだけど。Yes, <laughs> I took the bottle of tea here and I being carefully sat myself on the edge of the bed. He said you were waiting for me, so, um, here I am. The bottle of tea was starting to sweat a bit. I kept it unopened and cradled at its cool surface between my warm, clammy hands. Uh... <laughs> we're both bad at this. Yeah. Yeah. Me? Well, I do want to explain that I'm not a trying to avoid him on purpose. I've just been so rattled that I need space. But if I see that, he'll definitely ask me to explain what has me so rattled. I, I can't tell him that. I can't tell him that I've become painfully cognizant of his movements because I think I might like him. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> あんなこと言われたらそれは意識もするわな慣れてねえお嬢なら余計だ Oh Well, yes, you're absolutely right, thank you How could you think I wouldn't be sensitive after I I'm not sensitive いや、もういいから分かってるから何も <laughs> He's not right there, me Not that I was surprised Even a three-year-old could call my obvious shift in behavior I'm sorry I've been avoiding you I didn't know what to do. It felt so awkward, so embarrassing. I just couldn't. いいって分かってるっつったろ。うん。でもまあ、俺もこのままじゃいろいろまずいと思ってさ。ここらではっきりさせとくべきかなって。The <laughs> slippery slide to awkward land. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh oh. うやむやにしといても気持ち悪いだろう。だから言っとくな。俺は。Oh, wait, you are. Oh, my. Oh. The politeness of his words caused my cheeks to flare like stri like stoked coals. I could feel the heat blaze all the way to my ears. I'm sure I was. I surpassed mere blushing. Maybe glowing like an ember was more appropriate. Uh oh. Uh oh. Like a pause for a moment, let a mischievous smirk slide past his lips. Eh? What? Eh? Huh? Wait a minute. Shit. I'm, I'm losing track of my controller. 
っちゃいかなどんどん距離詰めてって、もじょうに俺のこといい男だって思わせる。あっ、おばあそんでもし、おじょうが俺に本気になったら、その時は。えっ、ジャガスパークは、そのまま、そのまま、そのまま、そのまま、そのまま、そのまま、そのまま、そのまま、そのまま、そのまま、そのまま、そのまま、そのまま、そのまま、そのまま、そのまま、そのまま、そのまま、そこからは、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私与えられた役目を放棄してでも手に入れたいと思った。Oh. 無茶なこと言ってんのは役も承知だ。それでも自分の気持ちに嘘はつけねえし。Oh、どうすんのが一番いいか考えて、俺なりに出した結論がこれだった。Mm. It's so unfair how he's able to be so level-headed at times like this. I couldn't think of how to respond when he was like that. All I could do was sit there in awkward silence, my cheeks still burning in embarrassment. お嬢が俺に懐いてきたのは俺が監視役で他の奴らみたいに本気で口説く気がない安全牌だからだろ、mm-hmm. Now you're not safe. この間俺が言ったことでだいぶ意識はしてくれたっぽいけど、uh-huh. それだって兄貴みたいに思ってたのは急に男の顔されて戸惑っただけとも言えるんじゃねえか、mm. I... I wanted to say no, but I hadn't accepted the turbulent emotions in my heart, at least not to a definitive degree. Asshole. Are you trying to insult me? Yeah. Hmm. What's that supposed to be? Everything he said had deliberate purpose, and it was. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey. Uh, and it was every word was chosen to make my heart skip. If I didn't pretend to sulk, I had no idea how else I was supposed to keep myself composed. But Taika doubtlessly saw through my act, same as he saw through everything else. Ma, so you can't do that, or Garasa. Or I got you, Ni, Ski, that get conch to create, or I took a corridor, come out of the door. Yeah? Died I ordered that the mother Jacob Stabaka there. So come out of the Kakugo, a dictator, Kadoka, I see to Karsina. Oh. What? I can't help but explain automatically his words. Oh my. 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 Oh When Taiga was being honest, he was an expert at laying everything out there. I suspected he was being forward to Saru, soothe any fears I had, and to remind me I had to think seriously on all this. It's true I'm starting to find myself slightly attracted to some of his quirks. But are my feelings the same as his? Can I say that I really regard him in the same light he sees me under? I had the feeling that if I spoke honestly about how I felt, something between us might change. But change was frightening, to say the least. <laughs> Oh my god! Alright, well, we'll try your plan. I couldn't pretend I didn't understand him, not after that. Besides, I wanted a chance to evaluate my feelings and figure out their true nature, too. I'm still not sure what to do, but I'll give it some, t- I'll give it some serious thought. So, thank you, now, Oja. Think of visibly relaxed, his shoulders lifting like he put down a heavy weight. <laughs> Oh my! Romance the hell out of me! Okay! <laughs> 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 
one over tea kettle? もっとがっつり意識させて。お嬢には俺にメロメロになってもらわなきゃな。え head over heels? ツンツンする気にもなれねえくらいにね。いや、あれはあれで可愛いけど。えキュートセイライバーカー。むしろそういうことしか言わねえよ、これからは。No! くどいてんだからね。I was mad. Completely furious at myself. Why? Because the teeny part of me was looking forward to the shenanigans Taiga had up his sleeve. Well, there's no telling how things will go, so don't get your hopes up. I tried to cool my anticipation for his courtship by bluffing, but Taiga just laughed. Ah, who they got not at the moment? Kore kara me by Tanoshima se de a r u g a n e What am I supposed to do now? I don't think I can outmaneuver him. I was not going to fall for any of them. I've been adamant when I vowed to remain chilly. At the start. But now my determination was teetering. What was going to happen to me? Taika was clearly happy with how his chips had landed. I shot him an annoyed glare. Taika joins the fray. Ba, ba, ba. Secret weekend date? Taiga spins a, springs a date on me, taking me somewhere expected. The uh, results are actually really fun. Selfish expectations, Taiga's attitude hasn't changed much with time, and I'm not sure what I think about that, or we are all God's children. <laughs> Secret weekend date, please. Despite Taiga's declaration that he was abandoning his part as observer, our lives didn't change that much. First and foremost, none of the others knew that Taiga had only come here as an observer and not as a serious suitor. From their point of view, he'd been a, a rival for my affections from the start. There was nothing to gain by making a show of the fact he eventually entered the ring. He officially entered the ring. <laughs> Frankly, everything at the house was so unruffled, Taika's entry into the fray seemed anticlimactic. For a little while, at least. Huh? Oh, Taika! Okay, I don't know yet. Let's go, Hojo! Eh? What? Hey! The sun was shining, the sky was a brilliant blue, and I, completely confused, was running in Taika's wake as he tugged me along by my arm. My weekend started with what Taika had called a stealthy tryst. Yosh, Koko Made Kriba, Hegidaro. Oja, Ixter Ga. I know. You sign. Yeah, Vare, Vare. I tell you, it's got a Rusukara, sir. Scoja, Undo Busok Janeno. Shut up! Quiet! You! Rude. While he glanced over at the station not too far down the way, I managed to get my breathing under control. Where are you taking me in the first place? Hmm. He didn't plan this at all? Oh. Uh, yes, but. I don't know. Arcades? No! Out of the question! Arcades are breeding grounds for delinquents and punks! Oh, <laughs> Taiga shook his head, rolled his eyes, but then his, his expression quickly shifted to a mischievous smile. Okay, let's go what? Did you not just hear me? How can you listen to me say all that? Then drive me to an arcade! Ugh, she's gonna be this pushy all day long. Uh, you weren't gonna take me in there, right? But... My microphone just picked all that up. Oh my. Oh. 
Well, I'm glad I didn't try to sleep in today. <laughs> Would have been able to. We finally arrived at the den of depravity. Hesitantly, I stepped through the door and braced myself for... Eh? The inside was bright and stylish. Lights flashed and cheery chimes jangled through the room. People laughed and smiled as they played. It's not at all what I imagined. This is more like a small amusement park. Are all our kids bright and clean? Hmm. Huh? Yeah. yeah. I glanced this way and that, taking in the brand new sights. One interesting thing I quickly spotted was a glass case with a pile of stuffed animals inside. Taiko, what's that? Ah, crane game, da na. Above, the arm is bright and glowing, right? That will be used to scan the items on the floor to pick up the items. My little Earth brother is really good at those. Oh, the stuffed animals are prizes then. So there's no guarantee you'll be able to win the prize you specifically want. Ma, so, da na. Hmm. Oh. My eyes had gravitated immediately to a little stuffed animal shoved in the corner. It reminded me of Rabbi. I could never manage to get that one. No, I was simply wondering how the game worked. Which game? He pointed over a machine with with a huge screen. It bristled with mysterious levers and buttons. What's that? いわゆる格ゲーだな。説明するより実際やった方が早い。Oh, no. oh, no. あじゃあこの椅子に座ってみな。で金はそこに入れて。Oh no. Hmm. I sat where Taiga pointed and pulled out my wallet. Oh, I don't have any change on me. じゃあ両替にも挑戦だ。駅で切符を買うのとはまたシステムが違う。<笑> Learning about an arcade. Ah, so この両替機に札を入れれば、百円玉にしてもらえる。Okay, I'll be back in a minute. It sounded simple enough for me to manage. Intent on proving how worldly I'd become, I stood up and boldly took my wallet in hand. Oh, yo, the back button. Ma, くれぐれも注意しろよ。He's fucking with us. I'm not falling for that one again. I exchanged a thousand yen bill for ten hundred yen coins and went back to start the game. Taiga gave me a quick overview of the controls. I sat down and confidently put my hands on the buttons. First, I move up to the enemy, then I attack. Oh, the dash is a good kind of thing. Yeah, it's the best. Oh, so skip the button and press the button. I know, I know, but he keeps deflecting my attacks. Get out of the way. 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 ふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふ
見てなかったのかよ。映画、もう一回やるから見とけ。Uh, your hands, the screen? How does he say you pay attention now? で、ここでコマンド発動だ。<笑> Tega got more and more engrossed in the game, utterly oblivious to my growing emotional panic. His large hand moved down and swallowed my own, which were resting on the buttons. だいぶ相手の体力もなくなったな。あと何発か当てりゃ勝てそうだが、huh? こういうのは大体ピンチになると大技出してくるからな<笑>その前にちゃんとガードしろよはい Every time Tag spoke his breath fell, fell on the back of my neck I might feel like losing my money here Doesn't he care? いいかな今のが開始うんうんうんうんうんうん My eyebrow twitched. I could almost feel his smart brain in the back of my head. Shut up! No! ああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああ
The setting sun glinted off a satisfied smile on Taiga's face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is true. 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 Oh, I see. Taiga knows all this because he's been to so many foreign countries. When you go overseas, how long do you stay in a country? So, the no. Nagai toki wa hantoshi toka? Oh, wow. Half a year? Taizai hi wa zenbu genchi chotats da karana. Baito shitari, meshia no eji to nakayak natte, sararai no kawari ni kuase de moratari. Wow. Ido wa ki hon hitchi haik da shna. Well, that's a pretty thing to do. I assume you're fluent in several languages then. なもんボディーランゲージだよ。嬉しいときは笑うし、切れたときはそういう顔する。言葉よりも伝わるぜ。わお。そうやって、現地で何が流行ってるとか、どんな娯楽が流行ってんのかを、俺は肌で感じてきて。Oh my god. I guess spoke nonchalantly, making what he experienced sound so real, so lifelike that I was mesmerized. It was like listening to fairy tales of far off fantasy lands, even though they all existed on Earth. ま、俺がそんなことできてんのも。全部じいさんのおかげだけどね。Grandfather helped you? 俺の旅費を援助してくれてんのはじいさんだぜ。Really? しかも大家は土産話だけっつ、破格の条件。ま。No man memories, grandfather was a stern figure who wore a perpetual frown. But with how Taika made him sound, I don't wonder if he actually smiled whenever they chatted. They sound like they're awfully close. For some reason, that thought didn't sit well with me. I almost understood grandfather's feelings for a moment, and I didn't like that realization. そういや、俺の土産話聞いて、どっかの娯楽チェーンに投資始めてたな。Oh? That's true. Part of the Tojo Group's investment portfolio included an entertainment chain. When I remember, they made a fairly respectable profit, too. I had no idea that Taiga was the one who inspired that business decision. 人が集まる場所には娯楽が必要不可欠だ。じいさんはそこに可能性を感じたのかもな。うん。Are you assisting him with managing that venture in some capacity? なわけねえだろう。俺は土産話をしていくつか質問に答えただけだ。うんうん。うん。I'm sure that Taka couldn't grasp the volume of what he'd so casually done. I said. I'm in this? Yeah, I'm in this. I think I'm a little envious of you, Taka. They may have been simple stories to you, but Grandfather found value in what you had to say. It's a sign of how much he admires your observational skills. I can never hope to get that acknowledgement. な大げさな。俺はただ好き勝手やってるだけだって。No, I think if someone else talked to grandfather about these kinds of manners, he wouldn't deign to notice. What you've seen, what you've experienced, it has value to him because the stories are from your mouth. I had to admit it, but grandfather was an extremely intelligent man. Some people even believed he had a genius level like you. Grandfather, with all his skills and knowledge, still made time to pay attention to Taiga. Taiga's a far more amazing person than I've given him credit for. よくわかんねえけど。お嬢はもっとじいさんと話すべきだと思うぜ。俺から見たら、ただの孫バカだからな、あのじいさんは。え ?I had several colorful re-I had several colorful remarks I could have responded with, but I chose to keep my mouth shut. Taiga was free. As long as he wielded that freedom, he could go anywhere and challenge anything. The paths he'd blazed rambled on into the future. He would keep on going, making his world his own. Grandfather was right. Taiga does have something that I don't. なんか変な話になっちまったな。ま、何事も経験ってのは事実だ。今日も楽しめたみたいだし、そのうちまたどっか連れてってやるよ。<笑>もちろんデートとしてね。Of course, of course. <laughs> I nodded enthusiastically. Taiga's eyes widened slightly in surprise, but I pretended not to notice as I walked cheerfully at his side. Lots of fun. That was fun. My excitement didn't abate when we returned home. I had to resist bouncing up the stairs in my room. Yeah. Hey, Casca, I'd always thought arcades and entertainment centers were places that encouraged debauchery and depravity. But that's not the case at all. Casca's <laughs> like, what the fuck are you talking about? Mm hmm, Taiga took me one today. It really is important to get hands on experience in this life. There's so much that I have to learn.、Hmm. I feel like I could take on the world right now. 
I wonder what Tag will ask me on another date. I clutched a throat pillow to my chest and felt a goofy smile surface on my face. Casca didn't like that. Casca didn't like that! Oh my. Selfish expectations. Tyga's attitude hasn't changed much with time, and I'm not sure what I think about that. Morning. Oh, morning. <laughs> morning. What? You know what? Whatever. I dressed in my school uniform and was prepping to go downstairs for breakfast. <laughs> I stared at my reflection in the mirror and sighed. I was conflicted. I don't understand what counts as serious to Tyga. <laughs> oh, I quietly mused to myself. Rollo's declarations about how he'll make me fall for him, he hasn't actually changed much. Could it be I'm simply that dense? Is he being so subtle with his courtship that I don't know the signs? No, I don't think that's it. I braced myself for some monumental shift and nothing. It was kind of a letdown. Uh, not that I'd expected much in the first place. He just let me feeling confused. I should have breakfast. Yet another sigh powered me as I picked up my school bag and opened my room door. Ah, Nemi. He's not a morning person, which is adorable, because I'm also not a morning person. Ah, Chotona, while the rest of us sat properly and minded our manners as we ate, Taiga opted to be a slob that morning. He's technically in the company of the guy he likes. Shouldn't he be more aware of himself and take a different attitude? Or is he just that sure of himself? Did you just take food from my plate, asshole? おじさん、すぐに新しいものを。お、マイガシ。ケチくせえこと言うなよ。いいじゃねえか、1個ぐらい。ま、ミスリチャージトメイト。イフィワンツアップデイザプレイティングトゥイスタシエチェトゲットフ
Shichi and Shion started whispering amongst themselves while Stun glances at me. I was still caught up in the promise of kitten photos. I sat down next to him without thinking. I squelched the urge to grimace and hope they weren't getting too suspicious. Taiga, however, was unperturbed. He snorted and rolled his eyes. Oh, shut up. I, I think a trap baited with kittens is one that I would willingly fall into. なるほどね。これがタイガなりのアプローチってことなんだな。うん。あ、ああ、まあそうかもな。It is? I knew it. Tiger had been flirting with me in his own way this whole time. It was just too subtle for me to notice. But I couldn't shake the feeling that his efforts rang the tiniest bit hollow. What? コトリちゃんのそういう顔。すごくいいと思うけど。え?それって大河の前検定なのかな?え?ああ。はあ?いつもと違う素直な顔のこと。すごく年相応の女の子っぽい感じ。え?拗ねている表情も素敵だが。I don't look any different than usual. Taiga suddenly reached out and started ruffling my hair. Hey, what are you doing? Kawaii to nate taku nan daru. Yoshi, 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 yoshi. Eh! I'm not an animal. I mean, I'm half animal. I'm so cute. Cute. Teren natte. I'm nothing shy! What's going on to him? Is he doing this just because he? I thought he should put more effort into his flirting? Taika keeps ruffling my hair, seemingly oblivious to the turmoil rolling in my head. Ah, kawaii, toi. Ojo, kawaii, na. Stop it! Yeah, then. Why not? Oh, but you know he does already. Taika san ga ojo san o nade teru. Ja, ojo san wa ore o nade te kudasai. That's not getting back at him. Huh? Hot toy te yo. So you tell cash the crew. Hand on massage dang it. They're desperate. No, so only what cut out. What? He's an egg. Oh, the guy. I said stop. I pulled out my hands on all four of them, finally backed off and gave me space. I turned and glared daggers at Taiga, who returned my look with a smirk. Taiga, you started all this with your kitten thing. Wari, wari. Uh huh, you're not a bit sorry, are you? Yeah, I'm sorry. You were hurting my sanity, thank you very much. Don't interrupt each other. If I didn't spell this out to Taiga, it'll sail over his dead head. I readied myself to launch to a scathing lecture. Taika just stuck his tongue out. Ah, this man! Ha ha! Nanda ka futari te, maru de kyoudai mitai desu ne. Eh? I froze my mouth hanging open. Ii na, ore mo mazete kudasai yo. Oni chan te yonde mo ii desu yo. Iya, Nayuta wa ani to iu ka. Pet work daro. Family talk. Eh? いやそれはそれで嬉しいですけどちょっと待ってちょっと待ってちょっと待ってちょっと待ってちょっと待ってちょっと待ってちょっと待ってちょっと待ってちょっと待ってちょっと待ってちょっと待ってちょっと待って
But I still really think that there's supposed to be more to courting than just teasing. I'm not going to tell him to woo me the same way as the others, but there's still... I don't know. I trailed off, realizing something. Am I the one who's lacking something? Oh. お嬢が俺に懐いてきたのは俺が監視役で他の奴らみたいに本気でくどく気がない安全牌だからだろ。それだって兄貴みたいに思ってたのが急に男の顔されて戸惑っただけとも言えるんじゃねえか。うん。だ
I looked at the church and tried to imagine what Taiga was like as a boy. Oh. Oh, fuck, God. A horde of children tackled Taiga as he approached. My goodness, they ran up out of nowhere. A little overwhelmed, I took a step backwards. But the moment they noticed me... <laughs> I was surrounded in an instant. My, my eyes darted from one child to the next. Ah, <laughs> Verging on panic, I'd never interacted with so many children at once. Please don't pull on me. Taiga! I looked over at him, my desperation in my eyes. He sighed and shrugged. Excuse me! I don't dislike children, but there's no way I can handle this deluge. Taiga, stop laughing and rescue me! So this is the sister Taiga talked about? Thank goodness, maybe she'll help me. どう<笑><笑> <笑>だいぶやられてんな。シスター、あいつは東条家のお嬢様だ。いや、そうだね。では、あなたが東条さんのお孫さん。うん。いつも大我がお世話になってます。東条さんには本当によくしていただいて。ええ、it's <笑> そうだね。でも中身はどっちかっつうと可愛い猫って感じだけどな。いや、あらあら。タイガはすっかりお嬢さんのことが気に入ってしまったのね。にゃん。まあね。Now I was embarrassed. Yeah, nobody was helping me. Stupid Taiga. They glared at him with equal parts desperation and aggravation. そろそろ限界か。おい、お前ら。あんまお嬢を困らせんなよ。yeah, let's go inside. Bye. The children finally released me following the sister's gentle admonishment. Finally <sighs> free! <sighs> 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 mm -hmm. How was I supposed to know I'd be utterly sworn by children? You should have been more specific. Haha, <laughs> it's ガキどもの相手なんかしたことなさそうだし。He saw straight through me yet again. あいつらも喜んでるしさ。まあちょっと黙ってやってくれ。I don't mind that, but I was about to say I wanted to stand nearby and help me when. Taiga Nichan! A boy peeked out from the door and seeing Taiga rushed up to him to present something. In his hands was a rosary, a small black wooden cross with a silver medallion embossed on its end. Not, not, not an unusual thing to see in an orphanage run by the church, but I had a feeling it held a meaning beyond religious iconography. There was something about how the little boy beamed, cradling the rosary like a treasure, that made me realize it was special. So, yeah, the boy smelled brightly and bobbed his head in an eager nod. He closed both his hands over the rosary and dashed back into the church. A rosary? Huh? Mm. A symbol of family. Mm. 
今行くお嬢も付き合えようん、OK! うん、お、Yes! I wonder what he means by the world is a re-symbolizing family. After we enjoyed some of the sisters' wonderful tea, Tiny gave me a tour of the orphanage. Then we played with children, or let them play with us more accurately. And all of a sudden, it was evening. You can't eat it, right? The sister's food is very good. I couldn't. I'd be taking advantage of her hospitality. Tyke was right. It's painfully clear just how short on staff they are. They haven't much food to spare for unexpected guests either. Next time I come to visit, I'd ask if there's any way I can help. No itch. I just let them know I'd love to play with them again sometime, and I promise I'll be more energetic. Oh my god, yeah. Oh, there are so many of them, and they all swarmed at once. Even if I'd known what was in what was it, what I was in for, I still I still doubt I'd be able to keep up. Wow, that was a horrible sentence. I don't mind playing with children. I have plenty of practice dealing with the overgrown children I live with back home. Mm -hmm. No, I do not. Compared to when I first arrived, I definitely fit in with them more comfortably than I'd like to. I recall when I first moved in and met them. I thought my life at the house was a nightmare, but now the suitor's presence was, presence was part of a comfortable routine. I don't mind the occasional day like this. How many times have I seen Taiga flash that bright, innocent smile today? It makes me smile along with him. Still, so, contagious smiles were kind of nice. Oh. Uh-oh. Um, let, let's go. We depart from the orphanage, leaving behind the girls' curious glances. Oops. Oh, it's Rainbow! We already told each other we didn't need dinner, so we stopped at a nearby restaurant. After we ate, we took a stroll in the park to let our food settle. It was certainly boisterous, yes, but I'd say for me it felt more... Hmm... Strangely nostalgic, maybe. Warm and welcoming family? Grandfather's face popped to mind. No, no, no. He's as warm as an iceberg. The next faces that came to mind were Sumiko and Kaska. Yes, yes, that's better, that's warm. Ah, uh, they're not related to me by blood, but I suppose they're another kind of family. I felt my heart flutter at the thought that I had something in common with Taiga. Even if there aren't any blood ties. Well, st words stopped as I realized something. No, that isn't right. How can they think we had something like that in common? Our circumstances were utterly different. I had my grandparents who were related to me. I had servants to care for my needs. I grew up in luxury, living in a quiet space of my own. I was handed everything I needed or wanted. But Taiga... I can't say the same. I can't say we're the same. Nudge at all. That would be disrespectful. Taiga, observant as he was, must have realized why it's sounding unquiet. He said, Huh? しいて言えばみんな神様の子供だ。親が言おうが今井が関係なくね。うん。で、ジュンはなんチャーチ。まあね。俺が10歳になった時、シスターが教えてくれた。ああ。そういう考えも悪くねえだろ。あ、guess。
お嬢も俺も施設のガキたちもみんな神様の子供なんだって、うん、だからそんな小さい理由で遠慮なんかすんな人類皆兄弟っていうだろう<笑>この場合は人類皆家族だな<笑> Universal family, huh? It sounds silly, but I still like the idea. I could look, can I look at it that way too? I made a tiny wish in my heart and looked up a taiga. Eh? He does? Grandfather and I, family with everyone at the orphanage. I felt like I'd just been told that I'd never have to be alone again. After growing up in near solitude as the Tosha family heir, those words were enough to make my heart dance. Thanks. A warm and fuzzy feeling settled near my heart, and I let a little smile at the corners of my mouth. When I get one of my own, I guess that'll make me a part of your family too, Taiga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. I see stammering over it. He's the one who said we were all God's children. <laughs> Mildly confused, I raised an eyebrow at him, but then a moment later, family? There are lots of definitions for the one, one of which involved two totally unrelated people coming together to form a unit. A, a, a man and a woman, for instance. Uh, wait, uh, I didn't mean it like that. Uh, oh, oh, so that's not the meaning of that. Or both just like, oh shit, fuck, oh shit, fuck. It's just an expression, that's all. We laughed nervously at each other, our forms <laughs> silhouetted against the glittering night skyline. Despite the dark, we could both tell each other was blushing beet red. Embarrassed, we slightly agreed to look the other way. Oh yeah, we'll be family, all right. All right. Romance sensors on! Or... What comes after love? Oh. Oh, first comes love, then comes marriage, then comes someone with a baby carriage. That old shit rhyme? Oh my god. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen more. Can we do it? We'll see. Romance sensor's on. I need fucking water. Mm. Oh, after school, Samuki approached me with a sunny smile, which always was, was always cause for alarm. Oh, would you look at the time? There's so much on my plate today. If I don't get poopy, Costco will be bad. Uh oh. So, so busy today. Fuck. Oh, hi, Keeks. Hi, Keeks. Do you want to come up? Oh, you're so pretty. Oh, you're so pretty. Ugh. Good girl. Good girl. So, you walk it. Tanoshi, just kind of had you this one. I love no one's like, oh. <laughs> Dragged along in Samuki's wake, we met up with an equally di displeased Noah, dressed in her typical after-school outfit. I could tell Samuki had no intention of letting either of us wiggle our way out of this. あたしは全然楽しくないけど。で、今回は何それはもちろん彼女のロマンスの行方についてですわ。きっとかなりの進展があるはずですもの。かな。なんまりはあ、何もないはずがありませんわ。うん。私のロマンスセンサーがそう言
イスルギさんとはもう仲直りされましたのおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおお Smoky, were you dreaming? Wait, when? I don't remember that at all. Oh, did I?、Uh, I, uh, I suppose I must have been a little agitated at the time. But that issue has been resolved. You needn't worry about it anymore. It'll be fine. Uh oh. Uh oh. What was that? Yeah. s o r r Uh oh. Of course not. Oh, 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 More than a little flustered at the time, and I had no idea how to go about explaining what happened. I reflexively wove around the topic like a dodgeball. But even after I regained my composure, I couldn't bring myself to talk to Samugi. I was embarrassed. I already know she's gonna tease me about things.、Uh, really? I can't think of anything that's worth mentioning. Nothing of t h o s e happened at all. She promised what? Huh? <laughs> I promise what? I saw a glance at Noah's impressive、uh, assets. <laughs> For a quick moment, I was certainly curious about the forbidden knowledge she was supposedly keeping. And then I came to my senses. Why,、uh, in increasing bust size? <laughs> Samuki smiles at alarm bells ringing in my head again. <laughs> please, Noah, please tell me what's going on. Adimido saw Samugi and I exchanged glances. With thinning patience, she sighed and started talking. <laughs> What? You two called Taiga out and grilled him? I would like my eardrums back, Samugi. Yeah. Noah's frigid voice snapped the both of us back to our senses. Abash, we straightened in our seats. Samuki awkwardly cleared her throat and said, I'm not sure I'm supposed to answer that. Things haven't changed as much as you seem to think they have. No, we didn't ever do that. He's a little pushy. I thought so too. But I don't have anything to do with it. For example, a d a t e Where is An、uh, arcade, and we visited the orphanage where he grew up.、Mm -hmm. At first, I didn't want to go at all. I、um, didn't have the highest opinion of arcades. But it turned out to be incredibly fun. So much so, I was embarrassed at how uninformed I'd been. Tech is good to entertain people. He answers all my questions in a manner that's easy to understand, and he always finds new ways to, well, expand my world. He just visited so many foreign countries, too. He knows so much more than you'd expect just by looking at him. He knows exactly how to interact with people, too. He's so good at it, he even fools grandfather. That's not something just anyone could do. I'm not. I'm simply telling you the facts of what he's like as a person. That's <laughs> great. It was. The children descended on me like an avalanche, all demanding I play with them. It was exhausting. The sister in charge is a lovely woman, though. She even told me stories about Taiga's childhood. Fuck. Siblings? Mother in law? これから家族になるんですもの。何かと気を使いますわよね
Finally! Spooky, you're getting ahead of yourself. あら、そうでもありませんわよ。そもそも結婚を前提とした<笑> 当初の時代から言って、今や文句なしですわ。まあね。前と違ってタイガさんも当時のこと、そういう目で見てるわけだし。花じゃないけど、堂々とロマンスできるよね。バイ。でもはい、はい。Wait, slow down. I haven't thought that far ahead. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry. Just get up already. Their flat stairs spoke volumes. Okay, okay, I'll admit it. I do look a tiger in that way, to some degree at least. I'm looking at him more seriously. That's enough for now, okay? Mm -mm. Hush, Samugi. Samugi's uncanny knack for picking up on my unspoken preferences marked the main reason she was my best friend. And at the same time, said knack was mortifying. Wait, that isn't it! Anima tried to close the book on matters and leave, but I quickly stopped her. You're good, you're good! Not yeah, both of us are looking at each other more seri more seriously, but whenever we agree to take the relationship any further is another matter entirely. We're keeping back to... Oh, okay. I thought we were going to keep going back to that goddamn brother-sister shit that people keep bringing up. Deep down, I knew that what Taiga said to me that day was the honest truth. In which case, the more time I spend with him, the more I'm trying I'm starting to think there's a solid basis to my feelings. I'll admit that. There's no guarantee he'll end up feeling the same way as me. He may like me to some degree, but it's possible he'll hold off on anything serious. Huh? Eh? Eh? My phone is sliding! There we go, okay, got it. What kind of teens he push? But... No! Even if our feelings are mutual, I, I, I don't think getting together right away is gonna happen. Because I don't feel like there's enough of me. That isn't what I meant. I don't feel like I'm well, worthy of Taiga. Not the way I am now. I could practically, I could practically visualize the question marks popping over both of their heads. I took a deep breath and laid my feelings bare. The more time I spend with Taiga, the more I realize I'm woefully ignorant, ignorant about the world around me. I'm practically a child. I need to grow up to mature as a person. If I don't, I'm not sure that he'll develop deep feelings for me. What if we get together and he becomes disillusioned with my naivety? What about that? Their eyes jabbed into me. That's not our problem. The gays seem to declare. I know, I know. You think I'm being silly. You think I'm making a mountain out of a molehill. そんなことありませんわ。好きな人にふさわしい自分でありたい。じ、そう。ああだこうだ悩んでる間に、タイミング逃して物別れになる未来しか見えないんだけど。彼女はやればできる子ですわ。きっと<笑> 
I'm sure my indecisiveness was frustrating for them both, but the gentle push I received from both of them made me feel surprisingly invigorated. So both of us ignored her. <laughs> Becoming my best self for Taiga. I savored my slice of cake and let my thoughts wander. What could I do to keep from embarrassing myself when I was around him? I want to try everything that pops into my mind. It's important to push your boundaries, after all. Every time Taiga showed me something new, I felt like my whole world expanded a little bit. If I could challenge myself to try new things, maybe I'd gradually expand my horizons. That was a start. I'm gonna give it a try. Sabuki so Nanamura smiled and nodded in approval. All right. What comes after love? Our relationship is advancing quite nicely, but then a call from sister gives gives him pause. Oh, him. The morning after I took Babe to visit the orphanage, I'd overdone it playing with the kids. Sore all over, I slowly lowered myself into a seat for breakfast. <laughs> waking up early is bad. I don't like waking up early. True, at least you managed to come down before I left school. Let's make improvement. Comment, not let me more. Don't push your luck. Babe's cheeks puffed out in a pout. I couldn't help but smirk. Ichio coming in with a pot of after breakfast coffee gave me a sour look. Yeah, played with kids. No, it wasn't. I played with the children there and had a conversation with the sister in charge. Grandfather donates to the orphanage regularly. I learned quite a bit from his it. <laughs> uh huh. Realizing he had the wrong idea, Ichi's shoulders slumped as he deflated. Oh, really? It was a much better use of my time than some plain old date. I let switch upwards and I poured my veggie juice mix into the shaker. Babe stood next to me and handed me a bottle of mineral water. Well, my gosh, wasn't that conscientious of her? Taiga, when will you going be... Can I speak English? Taiga, when will you be going back there next? Um, well, I promised the children that I'd play with them again. I'd simply like to keep that promise. Hmm. I heard him promise that to the kids, yeah, but the way his cheeks flushed bright pink as he told me that, as he talked, told me that wasn't the only reason. Ah, uh, it was easier to read than a blinking neon street sign, unable to help myself or ruffled his hair. Uh, hey, stop that, you're messing me up! I just get my ruffle on. Oh, you hair ruining tyrant! I took a moment to savor his beet red face as he fled uselessly in my busy hands. Xian, watching from the table, suddenly spoke up. <laughs> oh no, he's still mean to me at times. He must be blind. Mm -hmm. Ugh, that's enough out of you. Mm hmm. As he chin muttered gloomily to himself, a pal, a pal dropped over his eyes. Oh. A ringtone interrupted us. I stuck my hand into my pocket and pulled out the phone. Yep, it was mine. The caller ID on the screen said, Oh. A friend? Yeah, sister. Mm. Uh, say hello to her for me. I waved goodbye to him as I quickly ducked out of the kitchen. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's it gonna be about? お待たせ。悪かったな、シスター。もう大丈夫だ。こちらこそ朝からごめんなさいね。実はつい先ホビールームで見覚えのあるコインケースこれタイガのものだと思うのよ。コインケース覚えはない。おお、忘れてきたか
あ、お、オッケー。昨日は大河たちが顔を出してくれて、子供たちも大喜びだったし。ああ。水くせえこと言ってんなよ、レイとかさ。しばらくは日本にいるんだし、近いうちにまた顔くらい出すって。にゃ
あなたなら大丈夫大丈夫って何が As the words tumble from my mouth, another shiver called down my spine. Was there something important I was forgetting? I had to make up my mind. About what? For what? Oh. That could be bad. Nice's ringing voice ripped through my room with driving back to reality. I tossed my phone on the bed and walked out of my room while trying to dispel the strange, confused feeling that lurked in the back of my mind. Ah, shit. All right, well. Those who support me. Thanks to Taiga, I started studying magnanimous causes, but Taiga makes it clear how naive my goals really are. Magnanimous. Magnanimous causes. All right. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, the weekend. For once I had no plans. Even more unusual, everyone just so happened to have their own business whoop, whoop, to tend to, <laughs> leaving the normally bustling living room empty and quiet for a change. I wanted to ask Tiger to hang out, but he said he already has plans. Though that was mildly disappointing, I was not about to complain about finally getting a date all myself. I asked Casca to acquire some things for me and was waiting impatiently for them to arrive. Casca! Hmm, you know, bring them here. Since no one is around today, I think I'll read them in here. So this mm -hmm. He disappeared out the door for a moment, but re shortly returned carrying a small box. I opened it with excitement with the with the excited anticipation of a child on Christmas morning. Inside the books I thought that I'd ordered with sack neatly. Thank you, Casca. I knew you'd be able to find them for me. Casca <laughs> smiled and bowed, then took the empty box and left the living room. I spread the books out in front of on the table in front of me and tried to decide which one I should read first. The realities of modern day orphanages, welfare ideals, and their effect on society. Our children, our future, helping kids become independent. Oh. <laughs> the book's stark titles gave away their contents. Right now I was desperately needed I desperately needed to study up. This is my way of challenging myself. I picked up a book, settled into a chair, and started turning the pages. I couldn't tell you how long I sat there, absorbed. When I finished the first book, I reached my arms up to the ceiling in a big stretch. The more I look into this issue, the more I realize how complicated it all is. But that's why I need to start learning now. Huh? There you go. No, oh, so. You didn't go out today? I thought you did. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, well, you overslept. Taiga's eyes started darting around the room, awkwardly looking for a place to land. And of course, he inevitably splatted the books on the table. He couldn't hide his shock. Oh, uh, I'm doing some studying. After visiting the orphanage the other day, there were some things I was curious about. It's an important place to grandfather, of course, but it definitely feels like I have a connection, too. Didn't grandfather ever tell you? Both of my parents died when I was little. If it weren't for grandfather, I probably would have grown up in an orphanage, too. Taiga went silent. After hesitating for a moment, I slowly started to talk about what was on my mind. I was extremely lucky that I was taken in and raised by the Tosha family, but not everyone is as lucky as I was. Most aren't, in fact. And when I realized that I ought, that, I ought to do whatever I can to help people less lucky than I, just like Grandfather does with the orphanage. Even if I can't do much. Now, once I inherit the Tosha family, I'd like to help disadvantaged kids however I can. When I thought about what I needed to do to grow as a person, this was the first thing that came to mind. I couldn't deny that Tiger growing up in an orphanage influenced my decision. But more than that... Yep, we're gonna become family. I was really happy when he offered to let me join the orphanage family. It made me want to reciprocate his kindness. What could I do for my family? After giving it serious thought, this was what I came up with. I hope he won't think I'm being too obtrusive, or that I'm trying too hard. I tried to hide my nerves as I waited for his response, but I had to admit in that little corner of my heart, I expected that he would be happy and supportive. He doesn't sound into the idea. I blinked, surprised at his generically lukewarm response. Did he perhaps believe I wasn't serious about my commitment? 
This isn't just a whim, you know. I see. I seriously feel strongly about this. I want to help. Oh, ah, so they are the right thing. Oh, Joga, so you could have come like a grandma. Now, you are the right thing. Tada, no, Junsi, no, Zane, Dakara, Koso, Shinni, you may have missed it. What do you mean? Take a pause, thinking for a moment. Then he let out a short breath and looked me in the eye. Oh, Joga, Jisanga, which no sits me. Yes, I looked it up briefly. In the records, the donations were purely personal ones from Grandfather himself, not the Toja family. Moreover, they were surprisingly minimal. Toys and everyday items, Christmas and birthday presents, the donations were all small and innocuous items, nothing more. To be honest, when I discovered as much, I thought... Yeah. It... Well, um, it's true, isn't it? Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's true. 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 そうなると当然そいつらの面倒を見てやることになるよな。それいつまで続くと思う。Then this is why you read a lot of different opinions. うん。無償で何不自由ない生活ができる。そんな上手い話を聞いたらわざと楽器を捨てる連中もでそうだし、噂を聞いた他の施設からも支援を求められるかもしれねえ。それも全部助けてやるのか。I sat there and stunned silent as Taiga ground reality in my face. All I could say in my defense was that I hadn't thought that far. I must let my disappointment show because he grimaced and guiltily ran his hand through his hair. Uh, a little bit of a little bit of a I knew it. I was still an ignorant child. How could I believe I'd help everyone with anyone with such a shallow viewpoint? I was so ashamed of myself I couldn't bear to look him in the face. I'm sorry, Taiga. And thank you. You've given me a much needed dose of reality. Taiga's voice was gentle and soothing. I looked up and saw a little smile on his face. やる側にとっても気持ちいいもんだったりするからさ。つい暴走しまうんだよな。俺にも覚えがなくもない。あは。いや、支援のこととか勉強すんなら、そこら辺のさじ加減も身につけとけよ。細く長く続けてもらえん
Some of all, I'm not a m e d i Apparently, Taiga was determined to reject my praise for his talents. I thought a moment and said, I know that, yes. Oh, shit. If you say so. Fuck. Would this be another piece of advice? Is he trying to give you realize something by saying that? If so, alright, l I'll keep that in mind if you want me to. For some reason, he looked troubled. Is the way I live really that much of a bother to you? Tego's less than enthusiastic response was making me less and less confident about my decision. Does this mean he doesn't like being with me? He must have picked on my thoughts because he hurriedly waved his hands in denial. Don't worry, I'm quite confident in my ability to judge people, especially when it comes to you. The more we talked, the more tired his voice seemed to get. My curiosity got the better of me. I opened my mouth to ask him directly when suddenly. Oh, that's it. これから出かけるとこなんだよ。着替えてすぐ出るわ。今日は遅くなる。悪いけど夕飯もいらねえからよろしく。え？え？お,おいタイガ。え？うん？うん。Why out the feeling he's running away from me? I gave the door. He disappeared through such a nasty glare. I think I scared each of you. Hesitantly, he asked. Yeah. No, he didn't do anything wrong. I sighed and gathered the books scattered across the living room table. I have studying to do. I'm going back to my room. See ya.、Oh. Ichi looked like he wanted to say something, but I walked away, mentally offering him an apology as I left the living room. I know it's Ichi's. <sighs> I suppose this is a sign that I should have been more confident. When I told him that I wanted him to stay with me, I meant it purely because I respected his talents and thought I could use him. But I was also aware that when I backpedaled so hard on the marriage issue, it was only to hide my embarrassment. I had to do it though, and I, what I initially said really did make it sound like I proposed to him. I can't, I can't do that. Not yet. Besides, that's a proposal I'd want to hear from him first. It's okay. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. ガンガン押してくつもりだしな。覚悟しとけよ、ジョー。絶対にお前を落とす。What does he think, though? Is he still serious? If he still felt confident about his feelings, wouldn't he have readily agreed when I asked him to stay with me? The thought remained stubbornly fixed in my mind. That must mean I need, I need to try harder, I'm sure of it. I hadn't put in enough effort, enough thought. I had shot, he shot down my first major move. I had to study harder and make him regard me in a new light. First, I need to read the rest of these books. I'm not gonna give up yet. I clutched the books in my arms and went down to my room.、Uh -oh. Well. Huh. Looming choices. Each has started to catch on to my h e a r t s with Taiga, and as the day ends, I have a choice drawn closer. h a s k a n says he's fine with Taiga dating me, but the look on my eye says he doubts in his eye, says he doubts Taiga's conviction. Alright, let's. Can we do this tonight? Who knows? I'm home. Okay, I don't want to hear that. Today was alright, I suppose. I brushed off each of his syrupy greeting as I took my shoes off. Is everyone in the living room? Ah,、uh, yeah. シオンはナユタを連れて買い物に行っているよ。タイガも昼過ぎに出かけたきりだ。Oh, I h a d o p e n the my own. Ah, so t a k e was out. I must have left a little bit of a disappointment surface on my face because each his lips turned up in a rice mouth. 夕飯までには戻ると言っていたよ。出迎えが俺だけで済まないね。Huh? No, I don't mind. I stammered awkwardly, but Ichi waved me off and told me not to worry about it. Then he made a surprising offer. I hope you would dinner. Well, that's usually your domain. What? I blinked. Now, this was unusual. Ichi was typically very particular about the meals he, pre he prepared specifically for me. He always turned on my previous offers to help him. Sure, I don't mind. I didn't dislike cooking. 
I wasn't the chef Ichi was, of course, but knew enough about basic preparation to be of some help. Arigato. Nara, kigaete oide. Kitchen de materio. Ugh. I need to take a shower tonight. <laughs> My, I definitely am very much broken out. A little bit bumped because of that goddamn sunscreen. So I am very itchy. Okay. What in the world had brought this on? Confused, I made my way up, my way up to my room and changed out my school uniform. Hmm. So let's start. 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 Let's if you say so. Anyway, uh, judging by the ingredients, I presume tonight's dinner is chikuzeni vegetable stew. Seikai. Sumiko san jikiden no aji da yo. Konya wa washoku zukushita. Yay! I'm certainly looking forward to that, but picking up a carrot and starting to peel, I glanced over at Ichi as he grabbed one of the taro roots. Don't you think it would be nice if he made something for dinner that everyone would like instead of always cooking just for me? Daijoubu da yo. Nayuta wa ryo sae areba monku wa iwanai shi. Shion wa aji ga yokeleba sore nari ni manzok shite kureru. Sore ni... Taiga wa wari to ojou san ni mikaku ga chika in ja nai ka na. Washoku wa yorokon de tabete ると omou yo. What? Really? Junk food mo konon de ru mi tai da kedo. Washoku no toki wa hotto shita kao shite ru kara ne. Really? I'd never noticed. I picked up a second carrot and my lips lifted in a small smile. Maybe I ought to practice making the Japanese recipes. うれしい。な。そんな顔してたから。大我もきっとお嬢さんが手伝った料理だと知ったら喜ぶよ。え。カバーサプライズ、アイスタートインハフィルドケアレットスリップダウンマイハンズ。イチェクイクリダックダウン
He gave me a small smile as he picked up his chef's knife and got back to cooking. He was letting me walk away. Okay, I'm looking forward to the finished product. I left him with that and walked out of the kitchen. Awkward. Awkward. I have to give this proper thought. They say love is blind, but I couldn't afford to get so caught up in my own feelings that I didn't pay attention to anyone else. I owed Ichia a thorough and well-considered answer. She on and Nayata too. I wonder if Taiga already has this answer. This was some that was something I wanted to know more than anything. This is so complicated. I heaved a deep sigh and clutched a sofa cushion tightly to my chest. Mm. Alright, Clea. We can do it, we can do it! A smiling adversary! Kaskun says he's fine with Taiga dating me, but the look in his eyes says he doubts Kaiga's conviction. It was after dinner. I was in the garage tinker with my bike like I did every so often. Mm. It's Taiga. Mm, someone's coming in. Is it babe? I saw it. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, shit, bro. Oh, shit, bro. Oh, shit, bro. Oh, shit, bro. Hmm, sorry, I have a very bad itch. There we go, okay. Oh, I didn't even read that. Great, the pristine pest has entered the chat. <laughs> I suddenly had a very bad feeling about this. I'm like, that is usually right about stuff like this. Mm-hmm. I tried not to sigh as I put down my wrench and looked up at him. Gosuka stood there smiling. Hey. Uh oh. Ah, お嬢様と仲睦まじいご様子でしたから少々気になりましてあ、お嬢に攻略宣言したからなお前を本気で落とすだから監視役じゃなく男としてお礼を見ろってなうんうんそうですかそれくらいは見通してるうんうんあ、
Yes, this has been brought up before. I glared it. Kasuke gave me a derisive snort before his face took on a serious expression. ああ、とても良い傾向だと思います。お嬢様は東条を継ぐ覚悟はあっても、ついだ後の展望は表でなかった。いや。I Oh, whoa, okay, we're just popping right out with the accusations. あなたの言う通り、お嬢様には、いかなる時もそばで支える人間が必要。Kaska, are you gonna say that's your job? Oh, okay. それは… I was, um, I was just thinking it'd be a waste to let you walk out the door, value of human resource, be a good advisor. Oh, my tum tum. My tum tum be rumbling. To be blunt, when I felt him say that, I felt a ball of ice form in the pit of my stomach. The only thing in my mind was finding some answer for him that wouldn't make him start expecting things. Oh, the panic hit me so hard that for a second I struggled to keep myself from shuddering. And now with Casca staring at me like a stalking cat, the struggle would turn with a vengeance. お嬢様の成長に良い影響を与えるなら大歓迎ですよ。We are kind of a shitty yeah. yeah, you won't be able to travel anymore. Well, you know, wander around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I guess that's Okay then. Okay then, Casca. お嬢様のことを。これからもよろしくお願いいたします。うん。Bastard hiccups I swatted away swatted away by ugly thoughts and got back to work on my bike I just finished up what was and was heading to my room when I heard a voice it was babes Taiga I was just looking for you he suddenly appeared around a corner I swallowed a yelp of surprise and hurriedly made my voice normal say um could you take me to the orphanage Again sometime, like this coming weekend, if that's convenient. I knew exactly where she wanted to go, but I made a point of asking him anyway. He clenched his fist and so he began talking excitedly. I can study from books, but it's important to talk to people directly involved too, don't you think? The kids and staff of your orphanage know me now and treat me like, what, like they would anyone else. If I'm going to talk to someone, they seem like the best place to start. Please? It's not that I don't want to. That's not it, but... The shadow taiga hiding in my heart resisted. Shadow taiga? <laughs> shadow taiga? What? Pape looked at me, his eyes becoming anxious when I didn't respond. I did give it a lot of thought, I promise. <laughs> well, okay, I admit that a teensy part of me was kind of hoping to hear stories of when you were a child, but... but... Well, but that's not what I meant. Well, it's not like... Well, it's not what you think. I don't have any... Okay, not too many ulterior motives. His eyes quickly dropped from mine. I felt the strength ready from my knees. What the hell does he want from me? Shiloh looking down, his, his cheeks and cherry pink. He was keenly aware of everything I said and did. His posture and his expression shouted, I'm in love! I tell him I'm getting serious about him, and he probably does all, so, all kinds of things to grab my attention. The result, exactly what I've been asking for. I bet if I 
swept him up in a hug, planted a kiss on his cheek, and told him I liked him right this minute. He'd melt like butter on hot asphalt. And then what? Once I had him, then what happened? Yeah, your outlook for the future. How are you going to support Prince? Taiga, is something wrong? Yeah, Aaron's? Oh, well, we already have plans. Hmm. Of course, myself to smirk at him, predictively. His cheeks puffed out and he gave you a sulky glare. Don't treat me like a child! That's okay, I suppose. I gave him a lopsided grin. He looked away from me shyly. I can't say it isn't true. You're much more of an adult than I. For right now, anyways, I'm working hard so you won't be able to get away with calling me a kid anymore. Just you watch. Good night. I waited until the echo of his footsteps had faded completely before I sighed and rubbed my forehead. Could've fooled me. You've already got it tougher. You've already got it together way more than I ever will, and you're still maturing. It'll just become more and more incredible. Until one day you won't need me anymore. Abe was only 17. I wasn't familiar with the world yet. Was it any wonder he thought the dumb misadventures of a guy six years his senior were entertaining? But as time goes on, he'll get more of that experience for himself. And once he did, what about me? He'd have burdens, he'd have concerns, but he'd also have the experience to handle them. If I was with him, what would I possibly offer? Alright. Yes, Casca, thank you for being a pain in our ass. I knew he wasn't just any high school kid. He shouldered a massive responsibility. I love his blind and all that. I figured it wouldn't be so bad to hold up even a corner of that burden. At least that's what I told myself. But... <sighs> no, I don't think so. Both grandfather and I see a lot of talent. You're very humble. You should be confident. <sighs> he said that without a single iota of doubt. Costco's right. Babe had a very dependent personality. Put it nicely, he was devoted. To put it bluntly, he was blind. Once he liked someone, he, he believed everything about them. When he looked up at me with his trusting gaze, I suddenly fell back into a corner. You asshole. I made the first move. I got closer to him. I told him I was being serious. It all started with me. But Babe was far more innocent than I had first expected. In fact, he was almost dangerously innocent. Maybe I ought to step back, give us some space so we can cool off. And it's all been held to the metal so far. I make sure I leave him around the other guys so he doesn't fixate solely on me. During my personal pep talk, a voice in the corner of my mind told me the situation was too far gone. I rubbed my forehead and sighed, totally at a loss. Yeah! Yeah. Alright! Love pushed away. Oh shit. Don't- uh, not again! This is exactly what fucking happened with Shion! Realizing my heart is set on Taiga, my other suitors suddenly try to withdraw? But then Taiga says... Oh, fuck me. Sunday. I had hoped that I could have spent today visiting the orphanage, but Taiga said he had other plans. There wasn't much I could do about that. I didn't want to waste my time, however. I settled into the living room couch and started reading another book on charity work. <laughs> Hmm. Sorry, Naita. Maybe some other time. Hi! Alternate universe husband? It's okay! I'm fine. This is plenty entertaining for me. Shion and Naita tried their best to distract me, but I deflected their advances and tried to focus on my book. Maybe I should have stayed up in my room so I could study in peace and quiet. I wondered about heading back up to my room, but seeing that Shion and Naita relentlessly, restlessly fidget as they snuck glances at me made me rethink that idea. After talking to Ichan in the kitchen the other day, I realized that I had been ignoring all of them. I felt a little bad about turning my back. I doubt that spending time like together with them like this is going to change my feelings, but... As long as my relationship with Taiga wasn't solidified, it probably wasn't wise of me to make any sweeping declarations, no matter how foregone the conclusion. Tea. 
<laughs> Please. I rearranged the books scattered on the living room table, making space for the tea set. At the same time, I snuck a glance at Ishia. On the surface, he looked like his usual self. Uh, but ever since I talked in the kitchen, I'd been so aware of his presence, it almost felt awkward. Stay calm, act normally. If that didn't work the first time, why is it gonna work now? I reassured myself that acting nonchalant was simply a matter of good manners as I sipped my tea, but then... お嬢さんが朝からずっと勉強ばっかしてるんですけど少しは休憩が必要だと思いませんか? Huh. Narita? だってお嬢さんが全然構ってくれないから I don't want to deal with a fucking puppy right now. Narita? 今の小鳥ちゃんにはそういうの逆効果だと思うよ Sorry. それはまあ そうだね。今の俺たちにできるのは彼女の邪魔をしないことくらいだ。うん、いいのだ。こんなに頑張っているんだから、黙って応援してあげよう。うん。The three of them are suddenly far more understanding than they've been when we first met, and I didn't think this was an accident. I didn't tell was well, he was probably clueless, but I had a feeling that both each John and Dion knew where my heart lay. Oh my gosh, this is so awkward. I only tell you we're here. I nervously sipped at my tea, desperately wishing that I was anywhere else. Oh, Taya! I shut up and turned to him before my common sense could kick in. Taya left to be so by my enthusiastic greeting. Uh, welcome home. I never react in the biggest, loudest way possible. <laughs> Drowning in a wave of embarrassment, I slowly sink back into the sofa. Taiga. お茶にしていたんだが、君はどうする？え、いや、俺は。こっちに座って待っていてくれ。今持ってくるよ。She ナイトレフトゥフォーサムアドレスンイチヤのお茶美味しかったから。二人とも was that a coincidence? Or had they left us alone together on purpose? All of a sudden I felt acutely uncomfortable. I picked up one of the books on the table and started flipping through it without really reading the words on the page. Oh, yes, I was. It's been fascinating for me. Oh. そんな焦んなくても勉強なんていつでもできんだろ。もっと遊ぶことも覚えろよ。今のうちにハメ外しとかねえと。If I waste my time, I'll never catch up to you. He didn't understand a thing. I sighed and rolled my eyes, straightening my shoulders as I turned to face him. I told you before, remember? I said I wouldn't let you shoot like a child forever. ああ、言ってたな。so, of course, I'm going to study. I'm going to try to broaden my horizons and experience new things. There isn't enough time for me and there isn't enough time in the world for me to do all the things I need to do. You were the one who made me this serious, you know. Blame yourself. <laughs> wow, that's a little sassy. Brace yourself because I'm going to use all your knowledge and expertise to better myself. I punctuated my proud declaration to Taiga with a confident smile. Huh? But his reaction wasn't at all what I expected. Um. Is something wrong? He looked upset, and I nervously wondered if I made him uncomfortable. Had I gone too far? Was he angry now? I go. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Really? His compliments were strong, but lacked enthusiasm. Was he not feeling well? Uh, oh. 
はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。は
Each is quiet words snap me back to reality. I close my eyes with snap. There's so much I can't say. Selecting a temporary fiance, everything that had happened was tied to myself since. That information was still too delicate to expose to the others. Yes, I know. Defeated, I slumped in my seat. Silence fell. The others volleyed confusion, confused looks between each other. And why wouldn't they be confused? The, the connection between Tag and myself had been so clear, even each of everybody called it quits. So how did things turn out this way? Only one of the tables smiled as his Taiga. Uh, I just can't. It was too much. I couldn't take anymore. I shoved my chair back and bolted from the room. Well, never mind. Sorry, so sorry, Casca. I'm, I'm, I'm going to bed. I'm sorry, Casca, but right now I don't feel like talking to anyone. I laid against my door, saying nothing. After a while, I heard Casca walk away. What happened? I have no idea what Taiga was thinking. Did he have some reason to say what he said? Or... Eddie made his decision, and it wasn't the decision I'd hoped it'd be. But why did everything unravel so suddenly? Did I do something? I didn't know. I just didn't know. Please, tell me it's all a misunderstanding. Tears rolled down my cheek as, as I slid down to the floor and buried my face in my knees. Here's the happy music. Done! Clear! <sighs> Alright. I'm sure he really meant, or lies and escapes. She on a night, how sympathetic to how depressed I've become. Offer me their support. <sighs> I knew the sign wouldn't change anything, but I couldn't help it. While each has attempted to withdraw as a suitor had been stymied for now, the atmosphere at the house had become awkward and bleak. Taiga, why? I blinked and quickly looked up. Samuki looked it back down at me with that annoying light shining in her eyes. I nodded, swallowing back the umpteenth sigh that struggled to leave my throat. I'd already told Samuki what happened yesterday. It was too much for me to cope with by myself. Depressed, I felt my eyes drifting down to the floor once more. Samuki put a gentle hand on my shoulder. I mean, maybe. I don't feel like going home right now, anyway. I was about to nod when... A list message? From who? My eyebrows started twitching as I read the message. Samugi looked at me with concern. I'm sorry, Samugi. It seems I'll have to postpone our trip to the cafe for now. I turned and left to confuse Samugi in the classroom as I forced my feet to propel me to the front gate. Oh, what's what's up? What's up? Yeah? Oh, Hi. Oh, I'm Naita and Shion stood next to me. Stood next to the car that usually picked me up. Though their message informed me of their arrival beforehand, I still felt awkward. It let my gaze, gaze wander around the school grounds, too scared to look at them. Besides, I hardly feel like talking to them. Unfortunately, now that they were here, I had no easy way to escape them. I reluctantly followed their urging and got into the car. I didn't go directly home, however. Instead, we stopped at a little seaside park. Shion said it would be a nice place to take a stroll. I suppose I didn't go back to the house just yet. Perhaps Shion had read my mind because he smiled gently at me. Uh-huh. I love how they've all become our friends. Shion. Me neither, honey. 
お嬢さんのためならいくらでも力になりますからだからそんな泣きそうな顔して俺たちのことまで避けようとしないでくださいあいつはタイガはああ言ってたけどイチヤも含め僕たちはもうアナムコ候補でいる気はないんだだから安心して、うん、傷ついた君に付け入ろうとして優しくしてるわけじゃないよ Just like with Shion, they all start helping us. <laughs> I didn't think that you were. Hmm. Wakat there. Demone. Janto Kotobanish to Okanai to Ikenai Kotoda to Monkara. Maya throbbed painfully at Shion's kindness, stifling any answer I might have managed. Even though they'd failed at their goal and had given up being my suitors, they were still nice to me. Yet I can't bring myself to choose any of them. Pain jabbed in my heart, my eyes drifted downward, but then Naito's cheery grin popped in my vision. 全然気にしないでください。言ったじゃないですか。俺たちは味方だって。だから安心して。僕たちを頼っていいんだよ。<笑> Looking at their smiles, I felt hot tears prickle in the backs of my eyes. I desperately fought them off. まずは、詳しい事情を聞かせて。あ,あ。タイガには、はぐらかされちゃって。True. タイガさん。絶対お嬢さんを特別だと思ってる感じだったのに何があったんですか All right, well. ゆっくりでいいから。Here we go. Would I be able to put it all into words? I wasn't sure, but I took a deep, steadying breath anyway. Slowly, I began to talk. I told him about how I needed to quickly choose a temporary fiance due to the branch family's meddling. About how Taika had agreed to take on that role for me to buy me more time to make a final choice. About how we'd grown closer once I knew he was an observer. About how we'd had a big argument over my bus size and how we eventually made up. About, about how he'd declared he'd gotten serious. I found a worthy goal to pursue in the future thanks to Taiga's influence too. なるほどね。でも Taiga さん、自分から落とすって言ったんですよね。うんふん。それなのに、なんでどうして。うんふん。俺。全然わかんないんですけど。It's hypocritical. Trust me, I'm confused too. There hadn't been any warning at all. I'd been happy just being with Taiga, spending time with him. I thought that he was happy to spend time with me too, but I have to wonder if he simply doesn't like me anymore. そんなそんなことありえないですよ。But he's criticized me for being childish and immature too. I bet he's tired of me now. Kotori ちゃん。気持ちはよくわかるよ。でも、一回落ち着こう。<笑>今回のタイガの行動、彼らしくないと思わない<笑>タイガはいつも周りをよく見て、状況に合わせて行動してたでしょ ?Usually, yeah.I blinked as Shion's words sunk in. He was right. Taika had an uncanny ability to anticipate exactly how I feel about something. He always kept me in mind when he did anything. There was no way he would deliberately do something to hurt me, even if he didn't really care about me anymore. But then, why? Why would he say what he said? Huh? Okay. Okay. I'm not so sure. You said yourself that he always says the correct thing. Just wait. Taiga is a human being. He also makes mistakes and tries to avoid them. Taiga is a good man for choosing a temporary fiancé. He doesn't make mistakes. Probably. Eh? Who's he buddy? Whatever. I don't know who that is, but we're just gonna forget about it. <laughs> I think that might have been the original protagonist's name. I don't remember though. <laughs> I legitimately do not remember. Aw, thank you. Uh, hi, Clary. Thank you so much for the water. Oh no, shit, I swallowed on the- Hold on a second. 
Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you! I'm very proud of it! That was... It, uh... It looks... It's... It's pretty much... Very much like I was imagining that it would be. It took a lot of time to get it perfected. It took a lot of time. <laughs> Technically, this is version 2. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah. I'm very happy with how it turned out and how everything looks. It's, uh... It's... Just like I like it. <laughs> Nayata enthusiastically whirled around to face Xi'an with a wry grin on his face. He nodded once. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm counting on the both of you. Don't let me down, okay? Thanks. A little bit of weight seemed to lift from my shoulders, the beginning of a smile tucked up my lips. Shiana and Nayata must have noticed because they both smiled back at me. So, let's go back. Hi! Let's go back! That's right. I'm a harapeko. Hungry like the wolf. <laughs> no, you can't bring that up, Nayata. I've heard too many, too many oldies songs. I don't even think that count as the oldies, but I've heard too many older songs uh, in the past week. <laughs> Encouraged by their cheery voices, I breathed deeply and made a vow to myself. I was going to find out what Taiga really meant. That was my first priority. Everything else would follow. That is going to be easier said than done. Because I don't know what's going on in this man's head. All right. Lies and escapes. Why did he say something like that? Ichi tries to corner him, but... Taiga's a slippery fucker. Don't act like nothing has happened! Oh my. It is well past noon. I guess. I mean, yeah, in real life it's well past noon. Don't worry about it. Oh, I'm so confused. Oh, I'm so confused. Oh, I'm so confused. Oh, I'm so confused. Oh, that's a little harsh, Ichika. I pretended not to notice the bitter look he shot at me as I unhinged my mouth in another wide yawn. Oh, hiccups. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, of course, these guys say his piece. I bit back a sigh. Hichi wasn't gonna let me slip out of this predicament with ease. <laughs> I'm so silly. I forgot to say. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is for you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Wow, I was completely Tiger's throw me for a goddamn loop. This man, fuck. It really doesn't take a genius to figure that out, honey. Maybe we should get your brain checked, Tiger. I started walking towards the kitchen, hoping to end this confrontation. Con con hoping to end this confrontation as fast as possible. I could do it. I didn't take two steps before he moved to block my path. Taiga, I hope you're ready to get right over the hot coals. Once again. Uh-huh. Oh, I guess that's what I <laughs> hmm. I mean, it would make sense if everything else hadn't happened. Yeah, come on, he's been fucking chasing us like a dog after a bone. Oh, that's a little bit of a yeah, I think it would have been really shitty for us to have to say, Bye guys, you can leave now. So, you know, it was a, it was a, uh, act of mercy for them. I mean, I think it's hard not to. 
俺が監視役だからお嬢も安心して懐いてたんだってうん<笑>ただ懐いているだけの相手をあんな瞳で見るはずがないだろうそんなごまかしはいらないパンパンパンドラマーそれにタイガー最初はどうあれここ最近の君は監視役なんて立場を忘れていたんじゃないか、uh-huh. He literally told us he was giving up being a neutral observer. He literally told us! Yeah. Damn it. Sister said something along those lines, too. I really hated the implication that I was easy to read. We really were. It sucks. なのにどうしてどうして自分からそれを壊すような真似をした。Ah, yeah. 気が変わった。そういうことでいいじゃねえか。Mhm. No, seriously, just leave it at that. I really didn't need him digging any much deeper. It hurt too much. With some effort, I plastered a bored look on my face and waved my hand dismissively. Ah, 俺の代わりに。お嬢を幸せにしてやってくれよ。お前ならきっと。ふざけるな。お。シェッ、ブロー。I blinked, actually overwhelmed for a moment. イチェ was angry. Angrier than I'd ever seen him. I could feel the rage radiating off of him like waves of heat. Not my fault you played the role really well, honestly. Honestly. Oh. Tada no dokyun in dewa nak. Chikashi kanke da to omot de irunda. Polycule! 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 The anchor in each of space slowly melted into a deep sadness. Closer, huh? The way to teach his words made it seem like he thought of us as something more than friends. <laughs> polycule! Polycule! <laughs> Something like family. Oh, okay. I guess you can go that way too. Ugh, no, please. The word family hits me right in my weak spot. I said nothing. After a pause, he started to talk again, his voice solemn. Ha! <laughs> Fist fight in the living room. It's a fist fight in the living room. Oops, slashed out too hard. I had to play that way cooler than that. Make it seem like the situation was no big deal. I exhaled and loosely ran my hands through my hair. Nani can you see what I know? Show me how I'm in the sorry, Joe de Mosorica de Moneo. You should have thought of that. I looked hard at Nietzsche to signal the conversation was over. His face dropped in disappointment. Do not ever cut that. Saki no awa said it. Ah, shit. I walked past him. Neither of us looked at each other. What? Do you think we can go back to the way it was? You know we can't. Hell, I know what we. I sure can't. Look at how well I've managed so far. Stellar. Then, I guess it's time to hit the road. Doko iku kana? Ah, fuck! I tried to make it sound like I was hyped for a new adventure, but my words came out weak and dull. Yeah. I mean, I guess that is a new, uh, a new high score for running away is if you go to a whole other fucking country. Oh, from who? Oh, oh. Aww. Prince, I'm sorry. This wouldn't have happened if I hadn't said what I did. It's not your fault. But I guess words hurt you, right? I'm sure you must have had a good reason for it. You have faith in him, don't you? I'm just a little, I'm a little jealous. I'm sorry. Don't apologize, I've accepted it. I, I've accepted it. I'll see what I can do about Taiga, okay? So don't worry yourself too much. Thanks. All right, well. Whew. I take it back. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight more to go. Huh. Taiga's been separately avoiding me, so I go to his room to ask him the truth. What I find is... Dun, dun, dun. The next day, Shion and Nayata offered me their encouragement. I woke up determined to find a chance to speak with Taiga. What was he thinking? What was his reasoning? I needed to know. But 
He's not gonna let us go that easily, is he? Hi. Oh, Taiga! Uh, may I talk to you for, for a few minutes? Muri. Okay. Oh, I can't say much else. We already had plans. Close my mouth and took a step back. As I did, Ichia and Xion, who'd been listening nearby, got up and boxed in Taiga. Oh, seriously? Taiga. Oh my. Ah, game? It's gauche. Tiger! Fuck! He's out! What? It's come to what? Naita? I just zoomed after Taiga, leaving the rest of us to glance at each other in confusion. <laughs> Is he dragging him back in like a fucking goddamn cat? <laughs> yes! Uh, thudding sounds and shouts came from the foyer, the rest of us hurrying out to the living room. Uh, out of the living room. Uh, what are the two of you doing? いいで、いいでって。とっとと話さねえと本気で殴んぞ。嫌です。絶対話しません。俺殴られたって話しませんから。Oh my gosh. We went to the foyer. Naita Tai got a wrestling hold that was worthy of a Saturday night main event. His merry disposition and perpetually cheerful expression had turned severe. Tai was making a serious effort to squirm out of the hold, but Naita wouldn't give an inch. Naita? お嬢さん、ほら。you bagged him? Tagged and bagged him, apparently. I appreciated the sentiment, but Taiga threw sparks like a tide of wildcat. How was I supposed to talk to him? Yeah. Uh, Taiga shifted while Naito was distracted with me. He twisted and yanked himself from Naito's grip. <laughs> Oh. Uh. It's all right, Naita. Naita's expression fell. The rest of us looked at him inside. Yeah, he doesn't want to stick around. Yeah, he's running away. If you tried to approach him, he'd wave around you. If you tried to use force, he'd slip from his captor's grip and run away. The others who were trying their best with their efforts yielded the opposite of the intended effect. Stop to surround him! <laughs> no, I doubt that will work. Taika was avoiding me because there was something he didn't want to say. Most likely because whatever he wanted to say would hurt me. But as long as he keeps everything inside, nothing is going to change. I'm sorry, everyone, but could I, uh, could I ask all of you a favor? The three of them looked at me, concern clear on their faces. I inhaled to steady myself and spoke. I don't know what the favor is, but I guess we'll find out. <sighs> no lights in the living room. Everyone should be zonked out by this hour. Conflicted, I glanced around the place that had been home for the last few months. Sorry, guys, I really think my time here is up. Reluctantly, I pulled my phone in my jacket pocket. After only a quick second of hesitation, I dialed a familiar number. Ah, uh, Jisan. Uh oh. There's no train back now. Uh oh. I was startled awake by a noise coming from the foyer. He's back. I staked out the living room. <laughs> Sitting quietly with the lights off. Then Tiger saw the dark house, he surely believed that everyone had gone to bed. I heard his footsteps creak up to the second floor. Now we can finally talk in peace. I'd asked an enormous favor of the other three, having them all stay at the hotel for the night. I'd even sent Costco back to the Kamakura estate. Right now, Taiga and I were alone in the house. What? What? Ah! Uh... I quietly walked up to his room. I raised my hand to knock, but then paused. The sound of someone rummaging through something came from inside the room. What was he doing? 
Race man to knock again. I know he's gonna be happy to see me. Why bother being polite at this point? I lowered my head, grabbed the doorknob, and fucking just opened it. What's all this? I was frozen in place by the sight that greeted me. The suitcase is sitting in the middle of the floor, the clothing and belongings strewn about them. It was almost as if. Taigo? What are you doing? Taiga didn't seem surprised that I walked into his room without knocking. He kept bustling about, tossing things into his suitcases. I can see that much, but... A cold bead of sweat traveled down my spine. It was starting to look like the worst possible scenario was indeed a reality, but I desperately tried to ignore it. Are you going somewhere? Oh, um, you'll be back soon though, right? I didn't answer. He simply kept stuffing more belongings into his suitcases, which were almost full. <sighs> then he casually tossed his passport onto the pile of clothes in one suitcase. I knew it. I could no longer turn away from the truth. Grab it! <laughs> Grab the passport! <laughs> Take it! He can't leave without it! <laughs> oh, the blood drained from my face as that realization sunk in. You store, Sanjay. Tega snapped his suitcase, closed, and casually hefted it and headed for the door. I jolted forward and grabbed his arm. Wait! I'm sorry. Huh? I coughed Taika's words with a blurted apology. That got him to look at me, eyebrows raised in confusion. To get advantage of that moment, I let the words pour out of me. I'm just so confused. Why would you say what you said at dinner? Why now? Why so suddenly? Please just answer me. You had a reason for it, but you were trying to teach me something through your actions, just like you always do. Uh -huh. I've been thinking about it nonstop. What did I do wrong? Where did I make a mistake? But I couldn't figure it out. No matter how hard I tried, I just couldn't. Where did I go wrong? What did I do? Please, Taiga, tell me. This <laughs> I was still clutching at Taiga's arm, and he reached over and put his hand on mine. I thought his hand slowly closed on mine, and he started peeling my fingers off his arm. For an instant, our eyes met. His gaze pleaded with mine, but it held something back. Tega's fading footsteps sounded disturbingly casual, as if he was just going to the store. I couldn't move. I felt like I'd been planted on the spot. What am I gonna do? Taiga was leaving. He was walking away. Probably for good. What can I possibly do? I might never see him again. My body was stiff from shock. But the moment that thought warmed its way to my heart, I felt a shudder run through me. I can't just sit here! Taiga! I dashed down the stairs and ran out the door. My mind was empty save for my determination to find him. Wait! The thought that he might hate me for stopping him paled in comparison to my fear of never seeing him again. So I ran. My hand stretched out towards him. No, what's up? Don't go, please. I slammed into Taiga's back and wrapped my arms around him, clinging as hard as I could. I was too desperate to worry about how desperate I looked. <laughs> I knew that. I knew full well that my actions were pathetic. But... But if I let go, I'll never see you again. I can't afford to worry what others think. I need you, Taiga. Like what I told you before, in marriage notwithstanding, I need you to stay with me and put your talents to good use. Taiga sighed. His voice sounded so tired. 
I keep giving up on something. I kept pushing desperately, trying to demonstrate that my feelings were genuine. The new worlds that you showed me, the advice that you gave me, it was all so different and fascinating. And every time you show me something new, I'm reminded that I grew up in such a terribly small and narrow world. You're the one who made me aware of how much life experience I still lack, Taiga. Please, I promise that I'll fix all my flaws and all my weaknesses if you'll tell me. If you tell me that I'll need improvement in any area, I'll commit myself to getting better. I trust you that much, I know my faith in you isn't misplaced. I tightened my grip. Taiga said nothing. He didn't so much as twitch. After a long moment of silence. お前の言うことなんて気にしなくていい。お嬢はお嬢らしくいてほしい。タイガ。俺の何気ない一言でお嬢が簡単に変わろうとするのが怖いんだ。悪いな。こんな情けねえ男でさ。だから見逃してくれ
I summoned all my strength and managed to mumble reply to Casca behind the door. I'm just too tired. Mm. Squeezing out even that much of an answer was exhausting. I lay still and stared dazedly at the ceiling as Casca's calm voice drifted towards me. Mm. I can? I closed my eyes as I listened to his footsteps fade away. I should sleep. Maybe I'll feel better if I nap for a little longer. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot of cement. それが。ついんだよ。よ。俺の言うことなんて気にしなくていい。お嬢はお嬢らしくいてほしい。<laughs> I can't get back to sleep. I tossed and turned in bed for a while. Eventually, I mustered my energy and forced myself to sit up. Oi, Nayuta! So, Koja, Damida! Hotchini, okay? でもここに置いた方が目立つと思うんですけど。うん。目立つには目立つだろうけど、はっきり言うと。ちゃんと <笑> <laughs> Too late. Too late. What in the world are they doing? I disinterestedly wondered about their antics as I plodded into the living room. No, oh, Josa. More okay to die, Jovino. Taicho, I do. Seem by state under. You clean name it, okay? Nope. Yes, I'm fine. Is it really past ten already? I'm sorry I wasn't awake in time to have breakfast. いいんだそんなこと。君の体調が一番だからね。Ichan <laughs> Shion looked at me with concern. I managed to muster a small smile for them when suddenly. Naita scampered into the room and made a beeline right for me. お嬢さん。心配してたんですよ。昨日はタイガさんのせいで。何言った。うん。な、な、なんでもないです。<laughs> Kasuga. I must have told them everything. They already knew that Taiga had left. Oh well, I feel a bit better knowing I don't have to be the one to break the news. I can't sleep when I close my eyes. I I can't help but things think about things I'd rather not think about. The three of them looked at me, concern written clearly on their faces. Yeah. Yeah, he left. He uh, he left for another country too. He's gone. He fucked off. He got cold feet about actually being in a relationship with us, and after telling us he was seriously courting us, um, fucked off. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm still going. I'm trying to finish this. I'm trying so hard to finish this board. So then, eh? I had lunch before. I'll eat dinner after I finish. Thank you. I followed his gesture <laughs> and sat down on a corner of the sofa. I picked up a cushion and held it. I w he waggled his hands at me again, indicating I should wait a minute. Then he dashed off again. After after he left, Ichi and Shion settled into the sofa, bookending me between them. No, I'm sorry. We're not making him leave the country. He left the country because he got cold feet. Aww. 
Relax. Hmm. Just a little bit of the bad stuff. Everyone doesn't care about it. Well, I feel guilty that I was making them all so concerned. They really, really wanted to give in and indulge in their kindness. That desire dazedly overtook me when suddenly I noticed something out of the corner of my eye. That mug. Mug cup is how it was done. It's Tyler's. Yeah, but it's different. Look, the character is the same. They're like, oh fuck, oh shit. No, that's definitely the one he used. <laughs> oh. マグカップなんて最初からなかったんだよ。I suppose so. Hey, that magazine over there. どう、バイク雑誌 ？Take a used to read that. え？見間違えないから。バイク雑誌なんてどこにもないよ。Oh, I guess. Ah, that flap cup. It's just like the one Tiger wrote his name on. これはタイガーのじゃないから。They're desperate. Oh. お待たせしました。What? Did you bring me a goddamn Christmas tree? May Tiger. Why did they all say May Tiger come back soon? <laughs> お嬢さんお嬢さん。そろそろクリスマスですよ。Is it? これ見てテンション上げましょう。Is it? Christmas? いやほら。見てください。すっごく立派なツリーですよね。What? Christmas. It's almost here. まだちゃんと飾り付けできてないから、後で見せようと思ったんだけど。Why is it covered with tags? 勝手なことをしてごめん。そのよかったら一緒に飾り付けをしてみないかい。いいですね。あ、じゃあこれに書いてください。Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Paper strips to put on the Christmas tree. I also wanted to be the power of my mother's strength. I asked for a lot of things. No, oh no! I wrote the most important thing. Oh no! What I need most? I'm up close to the tree. Apparently, one of the paper slips hanging on it. Right on the other side was. May Tiger come back home soon. What? Oh, Tiger. 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 Oh,
Mm. Costco's right, of course. But a part of me desperately wanted to think that couldn't be the case. Eh. I'm sure Taiga must be very important to Grandfather, too. Do you think I could speak with Grandfather? Mm. That's fine. I at least wanted to know what he had said to Taiga, if I could learn that much. お嬢様は、イスルギ様のことを大変勝っていらっしゃったようですが、どんな事情であれ、与えられた役目を勝手に放棄して逃げ出すというのは、あまり褒められたことではありませんね。うん。I <laughs> the bot absolutely was like, uh uh, uh uh. Hitsiona monoga arimastara oyobio. Deva, Hitsire Tashimas. I suppose I can take that to mean he doesn't know where Taiga is now. Or did he know and had no intention of telling me? That was entirely possible. If Grandfather and Casca truly wanted to track Taiga, they had all the necessary resources to find him anytime, anywhere. But if I can find some way to convince them to tell me, then maybe I could see him and talk. I froze my sentence. Talk to him about what? I remember how he'd walked away without looking back. And that the wave of depression washed over him. I didn't want things to end like this. That at least was true. But I didn't have the first idea what I could say or do to convince him to return. I don't understand him well enough. Dull pain began to throb behind my temples. I sank onto the sofa and eased my eyes shut. I feel like I might be able to sleep, this time without being tormented by bad dreams. Though, given my exhaustion, that wasn't surprising. Yeah. My guy I liked fucking ran away. He fled the country. I wish I knew. Yeah. Unfortunately. I wish I knew. Wait, what? Not even know where the hell he went. <laughs> okay. Nara,俺も車を出そう。僕も人探しが得意な友人がいるけど。Hmm. Hmm. 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 I'm gonna punch that man in the face with my face softly on his lips. Yeah. Alright, we can do it. 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 Alright. There's only five things left. Oh. Broken hero. I visit Grandfather to ask about Taiga. He tells me the story of Taiga's childhood. There's something. 97.5. My fever is gone, at least. I looked at the thermometer again and sighed. The day after I played hooky from school, I developed a real fever and spent the day bed. It was a bit pathetic. I started going back down as early as last night, though my condition concerned the others. I suppose you can really worry yourself sick. Okay, uh huh. Yes, give me a moment. I quickly straightened my clothes and fixed my hair, then opened my front my room door. 
。熱はいかがです。熱よ。熱よ。いや。Grabs you, fucker! Tell me where I buy is! I handed the thermometer, he looked at it and let out a sigh of relief. Wait a second. Do, 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 do. どうやら完全に熱は引いたようですね。<笑>安心いたしました。Yeah. Yeah. 学校はどうされますかこの分なら登校に支障はなさそうですが。I knew that I ought to go, but for some reason I really didn't feel like it. I also knew that this behavior was very unlikely. f u s k a stood quietly, patiently waiting for my answer. A part of me wished he would scold me and give me the prodding that I needed. In these situations, k a s u k a never spoiled me. Well, my fever is gone. I had to work to get the words out. I couldn't find the energy to say anything else. Ah, so you were. What's that? I said no, I said it already. Must have. News? Hundreds no go go. You're there no cancer in Ari. Oh, damn, my son. Nijikan hodo off in a decade to car. Blink, 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 blink. どうしてもお会いしたいのでしたらアポイントをお取りいたします。おかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおかずかおお話の間、所要を片付けてまいりますので。はーい。OK。Sorry, Casca. I swallowed hard as I left Casca and made my way to the reception room. And I've got my water cup beside me too. And I've been drinking water. Very much so when you've been speaking for five and a half hours. ああ。After we exchanged our traditional glares, Glaren fell their side and lost you to a long blade session. Sigi ni omae ta chi ga kuru toki wa. Sei shiki na konyak no hokok da to. Okay, Grandpa, you talk too slow. That's what I'd like to know. I relied on my. I reined in my annoyance, bit my lip as I looked down at my husband's lap. Kasu ga kara kiite oru jaro ga. Okay, I'm skipping you, Grandpa. Did he say anything else? Oka no kouho sha ta chi ni jibun ga ka. Ayatsu ni shite wa heta o utta mono ja to omotta. Bye, Grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to go to the house. I don't understand. I thought about it over and over again, but I simply can't figure out why Taiga had to leave and so suddenly. If he said it was too much of a burden, does that mean he finally got fed up with me? Last thing I wanted was for Grandfather to think I was whining. But his words about Taiga reached into my chest and squeezed my heart like a vice. I couldn't control the emotion in my voice. Okay. I looked up in surprise. Grandfather's calm, quiet eyes watched me. It was not an idle question. Taika is. He's a strong man. He's unwaveringly confident in both his deeds and actions. He's a keen eyes and is surprisingly wise. He's good at pushing me when I need to leave my comfort zone. He makes it easy for me to believe that everything he says and does has a purpose. That's why I wanted him to stay. That's why I wanted him to stay with me. You feel the same way, right? He said nothing to either support or dismiss my idea of Taiga as a person. Instead, he started to tell his own story about Taiga. Okay. His eyes looked distant as he recalled his old memories. Okay. Alright. Thank you, Grandpa, for letting me skip stuff. 
Where Grandfather's expression grew wistful as he talked about Take's childhood. Take wasn't omnipotent, of course, like anyone. He was good at some things and not at others. He understood as much. But he always said that if he that if he decided he was going to put effort into doing something seriously, he would stare at the same spot as any child with parents. Start oh, start at the same spot. I was like, why stare? <laughs> Basically, he didn't want to use his status as an orphan as an excuse for not being able to get ahead of life. Sounds like he had a lot of pride even back then. Mm-hmm. Did something happen? Oh, あの、で、something uh oh. That's why he reacted to us saying that. <laughs> Oh, when Taiga rejected my suggestion the other day, did he effectively tell me the same thing Grandfather once told him? If that was the case, I must look like a clueless child while I prattled along about my beliefs, or my ideals. In the stuff, feel good, dick dick, get carried away. Ah, uh, that's what he meant. Thinking back on the moment, Taiga's face had been masked with mixed emotions. He didn't say it out loud, but did my enthusiasm remind him of his past self? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? Uh -huh. Oh, what? So the gambling is just self-harm. Ah! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. You may sound like a joke, but in reality... Yeah. If you did win a lot of money, what, you, what dream would you spend it on? He justified... Trying to justify clinging to as a possible dream. Hmm. The longer I listened to Grandfather talk about Taiga, the more his words started to ring with a disturbingly familiar tone. Looking back on how I acted. Uh -huh. <gasps> he looked at me with calm eyes, but there was a flicker of severity in the depths of that gaze. Uh -huh. uh, I knew we should I knew what he said. Okay, okay. Shush. Shush. No. Shut up, Grandpa! Okay, there we go. <laughs> I knew when he was like, uh, what do you think of me? That we should have started listening to all the things that are bad about him. <laughs> it sounds counterintuitive, but we needed to let him know that we do see his flaws and we don't think of him as this person who can't do any wrongs. I... Yeah, uh, I understand, Grandpa. Shame bird at the back of my throat. Finally, I realized what I'd done. I had... Pushing him past his breaking point. I stressed Taiga out beyond his normal limits. I pushed him to the breaking point, in fact. Uh-huh. Okay, he put me... Ill. Okay, yep, that's why he said that. But Taiga... Yeah, uh-huh. Every time I complimented him, he brushed it off while looking comfortable. I thought he was simply being humble. After all, I convinced myself that he was practically invincible. He knew things I didn't know. He had talents that I could ever dream of mastering. He was, to put it simply, a superhero. Or at the very least, I'd looked at him with the kind of blind out or all adulation that I'd probably give to a superhero. He would never let me down, I told myself. Tyke would always come through for me. I told myself he could do no wrong. Yeah, it was an interesting phrase. This makes it so hard, babe. Yep, take it seriously. Yep, alright. Yeah. Those quite pained words he'd left had been the absolute truth. And there, a whispered scream. Tyga's as human as everyone else. He's not invincible. You'd think that was obvious, but I shut my eyes and kept them shut. It's no wonder he ran away from me. Shut up. I lowered my gaze in shame. My hand was resting on my knees, ball into fist, tight enough to leave nail marks on my palms, lasted for days. 
I swallowed back tears hard, and after a moment I gave it to her as nod. And that was all I could manage. Mm -hmm. Grandfather's tone was severe, but it was not cruel. An unmistakable warmth radiated at his core. A warmth I only just noticed. Yes, sir. I bowed deeply to him. Not out of propriety, but out of profound respect. Alright, cool. Time to go find us our runaway boyfriend. Alright. Feelings for you. I saw you just send Tiger a wish message. Tiger goes to grandfather. Alright, well, I'm gonna send the wish message and then we're gonna go do more <laughs> grandfather. Oh, Sumugi, please. Sumugi, not so hard, you're smothering me. Yeah, we're going on a hunting trip. What? Kasuka, that is not a funny joke. <laughs> so Kasuka told Samugi that we were dying, which was wrong. That's a little embarrassing, yes, but I was glad Samugi had been so concerned. A taiga, taiga. <laughs> taiga, taiga, taiga. I'm sorry I worried you. She slowly drew away from me with her eyes downcast. Truly. Yes, I do. Thank you for being concerned, but I fully recovered, I promise. Really? You need more, honey? Fuck! What? Fuck. It's time for girls to talk, apparently. <sighs> After school, Tsumugi collared both myself and Arimura and dragged us back to the cafe. She made Arimura hack open the lock so we could access the area. Oh. Oh. She didn't even allow me the opportunity to protest. It's just she and Nayato so worried about my condition they handled me like fine china. On the other side of the coin, Sumugi gently strong-armed me into spilling everything. I truly lived a life of extremes. <laughs> but those extremes kept me balanced. And it was truly blessed to have them. Well, here's fucking everything that happened. And here I am at school again. I told them everything that happened in the world one of the past few days. I held nothing back. The talk served as a way for me to organize my thoughts, too. I told him that Taiga had left. I told him that I created the circumstances under which he'd left, and I only just come to realize it. I've got everything now. I was so blind, selfish, and insensitive. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I idealized him, forced him to fit into a mold I'd made for him. Is it any wonder that he felt stifled and decided to leave? Looking back on it, I can hardly believe I was so arrogant enough to tell him to stay with me so that I could mature as a person. But it did not occur to me that he had his own hopes and dreams for the future. I never once thought to ask what he wanted. <laughs> Uh huh. We do. For some reason, Anima was drenching us with a look of complete disgust. Um, Anima, what's wrong? Yeah. What is it? What is it? Huh? What elephant? Oh. Oh, that's not good. Tsumugi and I looked at each other. Good point! <laughs> we quietly nodded in stunned agreement. <laughs> well, no, she has a point! She has a point! We have to figure out if we actually do like him. I feel like I've been shot through the heart! And you're to blame! I love you! Come to think of it, I told him I had faith in him and I thought he was special, but I never told him the most important thing. You're absolutely right, Hanimura! <laughs> <laughs> Don't try to invent creepy nicknames for me. Oh, my foot itches. Well, give me a second. Oh, there we go. Okay. We both looked at Adibeta, our eyes sparkling with admiration. She rolled her own eyes and turned away as she heaved an exasperated sigh. Yeah, we kind of give love a bad name. Not one. He hasn't gone back to the orphanage, and Grandfather says he hasn't heard anything from since he left. I know he took his passport with him, though. In the worst case, he already left the country. Really? Really? How do you know? Oh, what? Yeah, I'm 
ここで海外飛べるほど割り切れてないと思うしあの人そこまでドライじゃないでしょおうちなみに念のため伺いますけど No Oh, I couldn't. Well, he would fill a train back to look at me once. If I sent him a nest, said she would see it as nothing but a nuisance. <laughs> uh, so、mm. Arimura -san. Oh, I'm sorry. 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 <laughs> yeah, I'm spooky. I'm actually Taiga. Boom! She's right. I'd hesitated, I'd hesitated to send him a message, not because I was concerned of how he felt. I'd actually been afraid I'd make him annoyed with me, that was all. Is it really. It's really all or nothing now, isn't it? So, Koko Made Kitara, stay me, Deke? Okay? Um, got it. Um, what am I gonna do if he's blocked me? <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> a good point. Oh, right.、Um, uh, what do you think I should say to him? <laughs> He's just pretty good. <laughs> Maybe I should say to him, Don't worry about it. Don't worry a b Oh. 直接的なアピールは NG、mm. The direct route? What do you mean? Be specific! ちょっと顔が近い<笑> Face is very close Oh, I'm sorry, but could you explain? 直接的っていうのは会いたいとか寂しいとかストレートすぎる内容のこと That isn't straight better? そんなの送られてきたら逃げ場なくて追い詰められる、oh. Okay I definitely don't want to do that あとダラダラと長ったらしい謝罪文一行見ただけで気が重くなって最悪そのまま削除されるうん、yeah. いうか謝罪するなら直接しなよ OK That makes sense では最初は軽い内容にしておきましょう Kicks できるだけシンプルかつあなたの気持ちがほんのり伝わるメッセージがよろしいかと Alright Coolio Coolio Um, that's more complicated than you're making it sound. Demo, Yarushka Nai de Shaw. Nai? Anshin stick with us, I must say. But that's the city that's the city. Okay. I stared at the West Master's screen. I typed out a few words that erased it, typed again. Time flew for you, the three of us had to leave the school building. Did I at least send a message? <laughs> Did I at least send the message? Oh. I flopped on my bed, clutching my phone in my hands. An impromptu, our impromptu girls meeting had come to an end without us setting, settling on any one message. All right, let's give it some more thought. Where are you? What are you doing? No, that's too direct. Are you making sure to eat? It makes me sound like I'm his mother.、Uh, like sister. Are you still are you still breathing? What if he doesn't respond? Ugh, what am I supposed to do? How could it be so difficult to send a short, direct voice message? If I saw him right now, I'd be so tempted to give him a piece of my mind for putting me through this. Sick of overthinking the issue, my fingers danced across my phone screen as I typed up a quick message. This will just have to do. I hit the send button before second thoughts could evade and then flopped down my bed. What am I gonna do if this is the opposite effect? Bill started to creep in, but I swatted them away. It'll work out just fine. I slid under the covers and determinedly closed my eyes. Are we gonna get to see. Taiga getting the message? The next morning. I got dressed and took a moment to make sure I had a tight rein on my emotions. Then I opened the WIS app. No reply. But he did read the message! Ha、uh、ha! -huh. Just the knowledge that, I'd seen what I'd, when he, that he'd seen what I'd written made my heart overflow. He really is still alive. <laughs> right now, that's enough for me! This time, I was gonna go more slowly. I wasn't gonna push him until he got spooked and ran away. The WIS message tactic does seem to be a good start, though. Okay, what do I wanna send next? Feeling a tiny bit better, I opened a new message to begin to type. Can I at least see what I'm saying? No. Okay. Cool. <laughs> cool. Alright. Feeble complaints. Taiga goes to see Grandfather to tell him what happened, but Grandfather sees through him like cheap glass. Oh, it's okay, Tommy. Soon we will eat dinner. 
The day after I left the house, I got an appointment with Gramps and wandered up to the rambling Tojo mansion in Kamakura. Man, I don't think I've ever come here feeling this downheartened. Okay. Okay, Grandpa, shut up. Oh, still sharp as attack. Ah, well, it works out better this way. I'll just hand it over while he's here. I stuck my hand in my pocket, fishing through the thing I wanted to give to him, but as I did that, he turns back to me and began walking towards the main house. Alright. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my, Grandpa getting a little pushy. Yep, he's ticked off. I figured he might be. Now that I think about it, Casca probably clued him into everything last night. Huh. My report is uh everything's fucked now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why? Well, you know exactly why. My brown stood together a confused brown. Why was he so surprised? Uh -uh. Yeah, not uh not a friend of his. Why'd you leave? Okay. Okay, took a credit card put out of the pocket. Okay. Gramps looked at me, but he made no move towards the card. I felt my palms start to sweat. He kneeled without me having to say a thing. I couldn't help but flinch. He's a man who could issue single commands with a single glance. I couldn't hope to stand up to him. Besides, if the situation got much worse, it could spell the end of our friendship, too. And this was indeed the end. I at least wanted it to happen through the truth. Okay. Uh, Tiger, I love you. I'm skipping this too. I nodded, then I started talking to him about everything that happened. I held nothing back. I love you. I really am, want this so to be done. <laughs> the cojones. Keeks. His long side told me just how disappointed he was. Pain stabbed my chest, but I had no way to look away. All I could do was bow an apology. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't deny it. I couldn't bring myself to lie to him. Not here, not now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Alright, Grandpa Taiga, both of you fighting. Damn it, what's this old man want out of me, huh? What's he trying to make me say? Nausea and combination of annoyance and panic started to eat away the little confidence I mustered. Grandpa! Ow! Harsh! Empty vanity, huh? He's going for the jugular today. If this was the mood he was stuck in, there was nothing I could do except absorb it with a smile. Everything was out on the table. Gramps just looked at me and snorted. お前は本当にビビリじゃな。え、それとこれとは。だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ
小娘がお前に惚れたことを後悔する日が来たとしても<笑>そんな若い方いる。Oh my gosh! そのいくらでもやり直しは聞く。I couldn't say a word. He was right. Gramps, babe, the kids of the orphanage sister, they were more important to me than anything, and I couldn't stand thought of laying them down. If it was possible for me to slip up back enough for them to ask, is that your best? It's better not to try. So I ran. Running away was the only thing I could pull off flawlessly. I'm not a little bit of 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 a little This was too much. I couldn't take it anymore. I'm sorry. 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 Oh, three more, three more. Decisions made. Reading the West messages at the end of every day, Taika's mind turns back to me. Eventually. <sighs> a few days after I left the main Tojo Estates. With nowhere to particularly go, run to the city during the day, crash cheap hotels at night. Okay, so, Can't lean on Gramps anymore, and if he's out, that leaves, well, the orphanage, that's it. No, I can't even go there, no. Nan te sets me as rain down. Keekers. Come here. Come here, you silly one. Hi, silly one. So the orphanage was out too. I'll just go overseas. Yeah, that's it. Hightail it out the country, go somewhere new. I'll get my mind off this crap. Ah, uh, wait. I don't have the money to do that. <laughs> I couldn't beg Gramps to pay for my trips anymore either. Hell, I was running out of cash for pay, to food for, no, for pay for food in hotels. I guess I could ask some friends if I could crash with them for a bit. I don't know if you could let me. I keep telling myself that, but nothing stoked my resolve. I had this terrible conversation with myself over and over, but I always wound up back up, wound back up, up, wound up back at a hotel at the end. <sighs> I was being so infuriating, infuriatingly indecisive, I even surprised myself. Okay, well, apparently six hours in, my brain loses its English ability. Turns out it's pretty hard to work out your whole future at the drop of a hat. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought that was me. I literally thought that was me. <laughs> Thinking was hungry business. I'd wandered aimlessly since I gotten up and lost track of time. It was all past noon now. Oh crap, that's. Taiga san, did you get it? He's hunted. Hi. Bite of the city at the store. ここでティッシュ配ってる時に見たまあ毎日いるとも限らないかしかお嬢さんとシオンさんも待ってますし、ね、yeah. あ,あ彼女が少しでも笑顔になってくれるといいんだが、yeah. 何慌てて隠れてんだろう、ね、<笑> <Why did I hide? 笑> Still, babe's kind of sad, huh? Not surprising given what I did to him. Hell, it w o u l Anyway, but probably smart if I stayed away from this area for a while. Evening. I flopped down on the bed of a new hotel I picked at random. Cheap hotels looked and smelled the same no matter where you went. The bed groaned, threatening to break into two. When traveling, it was part of the experience to sleep on beds that were at the verge of collapsing and eating you. This decidedly wasn't that kind of experience. Breaking Babe's heart, making Gramps mad. I've been forced to acknowledge my cowardice over and over these last few days. I couldn't take much more. Yeah. So about that. Yeah, about that. Whatever, G cut. Motto got three ishkis as a day. Uh huh. Head over heels. Soon, soon, sir, can you not an acre? You don't say that. Baka. All right, all right. All right, we, we saw this man. He had seized up like a deer in the headlights. Uh, his face, a picture of embarrassment. It was freaking adorable. 
I could tell just by looking at him that he was also, he was scared, but also excited. Yeah. There, did you see that? I timed my blocks perfectly. I'll let me get just close enough and threw a fireball in their face before they could even move. He only disliked stuff because he was a bit sheltered. Once he left his shell, he liked a lot of things. And the smug look he had after winning was stupidly cute. Thanks. When I get one of my own, I suppose they'll make me part of your family too, Taiga. Oh, we ought to be able to be like that little. Yeah, that bit a total slip of the tongue, but I was happy to hear it anyway. I mean, how awesome would it be if the two of us could be real family? I had that dumb smirk plastered on my face then too. Completely drunk on happy-go-lucky thoughts. Yep. <laughs> so shut, shut up, Gramps. Just shut the hell up. He's so adorable, I could just die. Hell, I bet I've seen way more cuter... Hell, I bet I've seen way more cuter moments from him than you ever had. Just wait until he turns that happy little smile on you. Any man would turn a mush over that. Shallow feelings? Not a million years. This hurts so bad I can barely breathe. Taiga! Damn it, just thinking about him makes me want to see him. Not that I can show my face around him anymore. Just then my phone vibrated and my hand made me jump. Sheesh, he hasn't missed a day. I'm sure he knows by now I left him on red. Well, it's his report today. Oh, we're just giving him updates of the other guys. Ugh, Naito probably said something stupid and she's stuck going along with him. Ichiya and Shion must have gotten in on the act too. When he first moved into the house with us, his prickly demeanor would have offended a porcupine. He totally would have turned up his nose at these little games. Yeah. He'd been stubborn as a mule, but hated being with the guys. But being with the guys had changed him. Being with me had changed him. Was that for the better or for the worse? I couldn't decide. No, it's probably for the better. He's so much livelier now. Definitely an improvement over the blank stare he wore when, when he first arrived. Yep, exactly. My plan is working. The West message that he sent me every day was the biggest cause of my loneliness. They were just bland reports of everyday nonsense, recollections of current happenings, that's all. No, I miss you. No, come back. Just a casual. By the way, this and that happened. Yet somehow, I could sense what he actually wanted to say. Mm hmm. I'm a cash! Duh, you're preaching to the choir, old man! <laughs> Seriously, quit it. You're killing me here. My emotions were getting out of hand. I wanted to see him badly. I didn't want to give him up. Even now, after I, I did what I did, even now, with how badly I'd mess things up between us. A corner of my heart held fast and refused to give up. Part of my mind dared me to go all in. But they were overruled by the part of me that was scared. I sighed. Great. I was stuck between the devil and the deep blue sea. The realization struck me every so often, usually whenever I let my guard down. Every time it hit, I always... Wait. Yeah, your own goddamn thing. Would you give up your life? I would. That had always been my philosophy. Leave it in Lady Luck's hands. But one great bonus. If I didn't, oh well, just meant my cards were right that day. That's how I coped my own decisiveness. It was the only time I ever asked the gods for help. Whenever I left things up to the whims of fate, it seemed to net me uh, as good a result as anything else. <sighs> I looked at the message he'd sent. I laughed hard enough to make his shoulders shake. I was in the corner at the basement of Rock Bottom. This is all the makings of an underdog victory. Oh. I stopped and listened. I could hear jingle bells drifting down the street. What? When to do it? This that day, obviously. If I screwed up, I'd fall so hard that Rock Bottom would practically be a penthouse. All the better. This will be my last shot. No more chances. Auntie's on the table. And a pony up. Is he gonna come back on Christmas? That's a shitty thing to do! <laughs> oh my god, alright, there's two more! There's two more! There's two more! We're gonna do it! A letter from Santa Claus. I'm sorry, what? 
I got a letter from Santa Claus. Written on the bottom is a hint from someone I truly wish to see. Oh my god. School was out for the Christmas holidays. Each year, Shion, Naita, and I bustled around the living room while decorating the tree. Okay. Alright, so give me a minute. お嬢さん Can you imagine a prince tree topper? そんなに働かせたら疲れちゃうでしょ。ね、少し休憩したら。I'm <laughs> fine. I was the one who asked after all. If I didn't busy myself with the task, I was terrified my mind would turn to dark, helpless thoughts. But when they offered to throw a modest Christmas party for us, just for us, I happily agreed. お嬢様、お手紙が届いております。Mail? Kasuka held a single envelope to me. For me? I wonder what it's from. I looked at the sender's address. Santa Claus? え?サンタさんって、あのサンタさんですか? <laughs> it's not real, Naeta. Finland. Santa Claus got What? Why was it sent to me? What? Right. With each encouragement, I gently opened up the envelope and took the letter out. A seasonal message from Santa Claus was printed in bold black letters on colorfully decorated letter paper. Like Xion said, this was probably from a service that offered letters to Santa Claus. Young children would love this, I'm sure. Feeling a little cheerier, I read through Santa Claus' message when... Okay. Eh? <laughs> no! <laughs> no! No, it's nothing. I clutched the letter tightly to my chest so no one could peek at it. My heart was beating fast enough to scare me. Oh, no. お嬢さん? It's nothing really. Um, I'm gonna go to my room. I just remembered I had something planned for today. I got up and left the living room in what was admittedly an awkward rush. I dashed up to my room and closed the door behind me before opening the letter again with shaking hands. The message itself was probably written from a template, but on the very bottom, there was a PS message that clearly wasn't part of the wrote letter above. 1224, 6 p.m., Midtown Christmas Tree. That's all it said. I didn't need to say more. It didn't need to say more. This is from Taiga. How? Any old goddamn murderer? <laughs> I knew that for certain. I did get through to him. I was so glad I kept sending him those wisp messages, even though he never replied. I had scared me. It scared me, but I couldn't bring myself to quit. And now I was happy I hadn't. I couldn't waste this opportunity. In all the time we'd been, been together, I'd had a chance to think and organize my feelings. I'd reflected on how I pushed my ideals onto him, which put him under a lot of unfair pressure. I thought about who Taika really was and what he wanted. Yeah, I smelled the letter. <laughs> he marked me. God bless it, I know the smell. When Taika left, I was a child who didn't understand anything. This time, I tell him everything, the honest truth. And if he turned me down, I didn't even want to think about that. But if I sat around doing nothing, then nothing would change. Isn't that right, Taiga? So I should go. <laughs> After all, it was Taiga who taught me to grow by facing challenges without fear. Oh! Oh! The end! We're there! The final! The final! Oh! Oh! Big argument on Christmas Eve. Oh no. Oh no. I need to drink some water. Alright. Voila, and go. Christmas Eve. It was almost the time. The hour Taiga had written on the letter was approaching. I finally get to see him. Nerves and anticipation made my heart race. I have to calm down. I need to stay composed. I checked my hair and my outfit one last time, then took a deep breath and walked out of my room. Oh my god, it's been six hours. It's been six hours. Christmas party or Kimito is Shuni Yarenaino Sabishi. I'm sorry. Daishobu, Minna Wakatra. Hi, Janto Econi Stematimas. Ecosteo, 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 
タイガさんと<笑> I'll give it my best shot <笑> Oh there we go Ichiyoshi on a night to come to see me Off give me words of encouragement I couldn't help but smile back <笑> Yes I was still anxious about the whole idea But right now I was more excited about getting to see him お嬢様お車の用意ができました Thank you, Kaska. <laughs> Shotgun buddy. <laughs> What? Yeah. Yagami sama no tanzak no koka ga tanoshimi desu. Kaska raised his brows tearfully. Go kento. Oinori shite o r i m a s No. Thanks. Ah,、uh, I'll be back later then. Everyone's eyes were on me. It was making me feel a little self conscious, honestly. <laughs> Cheered on by that heartwarming little push, I stepped out of the foyer and started my journey. Okay, I've made it to the tree, but everywhere I look are people, people, people. It's Christmas Eve after all, of course, we're not the only couple meeting by the tree. I craned my neck this way and that, desperately trying to pick Taiga out of the cloud. Blink, 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 blink. Taiga! Refreshing my Taiga searching sensors. Bing, 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 bing. Taiga spotted! <laughs> I won't cry! I won't cry this time! Ah,、uh, Taiga! Oops, sorry, I thought you were someone I knew. A closer look would have told me that. That wasn't him, but I was so anxious I was seeing him everywhere. Maybe that Christmas card wasn't from him? A cold ball of unease congealed in my gut. But it's just that. No, Oja! Taiga! Taiga! <laughs> Hi! Don't look so smarmy. That lopsided teasing grin. The eyes sparkling with mischief. Mischief! Mischief! <laughs> I found the real Taiga. Santa Cara no Tegami or Shinjirinante, Ojo, Mada Mada Okosamatana. Don't even start. I'm not the coward who hid in Santa Claus's shadow and said a secret note said talk face to face. <laughs> you haven't changed clothes, Taiga. <laughs> Do you smell, honey? Chigai. Zugarda, Yapa Ojo, a Namani Kagirina, Kireto Kokuga Chiga. Describing me like I'm a photo print. We hadn't seen each other so long, I'd visualize multiple ways this could play out. But he was acting so much like his normal self, I wasn't quite sure how to react. I was happy to see him, yes, but I'd missed him so much that now that he was standing in front of me, I had to hold back my desire to jump into his arms. But what made you decide to see me now? Ah, Tega punched away to his admission with a lot of sad grin. My dots come to Roman side, Kizuka, much do she not jimate. Tanzania, none guy die. Or any eye tight ticket? Well, no, neither did that one. Nanda, Ojo, a Kakanaka Tanoga, Smete. Tiger! I was not in the mental space to hold, put up with his teasing. Holding back tears, I said, I thought about it until my head hurt. Do you have any idea how I felt when I, when I tried to type those messages? <laughs> I blinked. Taiga's smile was gone. He looked straight at me, his eyes serious. I have to say it. There's one thing I had to say above everything else. Now's the time to say it, I was sure of it. Taiga, I. um, I. Mata, Moshi, I am a k i n a r a Yamete. Blink, blink, blink. Uh huh? Do Kangai that the Warino are Warino Hodashi. Did he, did he, did he, did he say your, your trigger word? Oh, I blinked. <laughs> Got it. Understood. <laughs> Why? I looked at him confused, he grimaced. Then he said, Eh? What? My brows two together. Now I was seriously confused. What do you mean? Mazi Hitose, Oreva, Imanotoko, Anoini Kairu Kiwa Nai. Futatsu, Orea Mo, Ojo, Korek Surikiwa Nai. Mitsu, Sore demo Orega eat the Yunara. 
He paused and took a deep, steady breath and looked at me with a stern expression and said, I wanted to laugh at what I thought was a, just a tasteless joke, but I couldn't. Taiga's eyes were deadly serious. I swallowed hard. No one is against us being together. No one, Taiga, no one is against us being together. They all want it. They all want us to be together. We do not have to elope! Taiga... He slowly raised his arm and held out his hand to me. Oh my god. His hand reaching for me, his eyes looking into mine. I glanced between the two and then said... I, I can't. Oh, god bless it. Which way of turning him down? Which way of turning him down should I choose? Absolutely not. Absolutely not, you unemployed gambling addict. Of course I'm not going to waste a second of thought on such a silly demand. I absolutely, completely refuse. What? I'll say as many times as it takes to get through your thick head. Do you think I'm an idiot? Heika blinked at me in shock. Blink, blink. Okay, look, I'm, I'm preemptively blinking. <laughs> I fixed him with my best glare and shouted, You don't actually want to take me away anyway. What? What? I ignored his hand which still dangled in space, reached past it, and grabbed his collar. What the fuck are we doing? <laughs> For a moment, I thought I heard whispers rustling around us, but then I realized I don't. I didn't care. Do you want to make me throw everything away because it'll make things easier for you? Is that it? I talked to grandfather about you. <laughs> I think I understand why you wanted to run away from me. Do you think it'd be simpler to be with me if I wasn't the Chojo family heir? Do you wish I'd say a normal high school girl so you could be with me and avoid the hassle of responsibility? So that... Then it wouldn't be me anymore. No. Oh, sure. I'm sorry I made you upset by portraying, projecting unrealistic expectations on you, okay? I know that was wrong. But, but to say you won't be with me unless I abandon everything I have and everything I am? Do you have any idea what a cruel ass that is? I can't believe it even came out of your mouth! I am who I am because I was born a Tojo and raised to be the Tojo family heir. If I had been born a Tojo, then I'm sure I would have been become someone completely different. Maybe I would have become a sweeter person, someone who's more open and outgoing. Is that who Taika wishes I was? Does that mean the person I am now isn't good enough? Anger, misery, unhappiness, a tangled, messy tangle of emotions see in my head. I've had enough. I'm turning you in. No! I'm gonna call sister and dish about everything. <laughs> <laughs> Call your mom! <laughs> let go, let go of me! <laughs> what are you doing? What do you want? You were never serious about me to begin with, were you? Liar! Who's going to say those things then leave me? ダマって聞いてるよ。さっきお嬢だって謝ってただろうが、勝手な理想を押し付けて悪かったって。無茶苦茶ハードル上げて行きやがって。どんだけプレッシャーだったと思ってやがる。<笑><笑> Me, you're the one getting defensive. Just, just stop. Stop already. <laughs> Here he is. <laughs> All right, I gotta turn it down because they're playing the the B music. All right, I, I actually have to turn it fully down because it got me DMCA on the or not DMCA, but like they muted it. In Shion's ending. <laughs> Fall down! Alright. Let's see. I can't take it anymore. Oh shit, we're crying. No, uh, Tears swelled up and spilled over. Spilled, spilled over. Spilled over before I could hold them back. 
Oh, but I didn't feel like holding anything back. If seeing me cry made him feel guilty, good. I knew that I was being an immature child. I wasn't thinking, and I got far, far too ahead of myself. That was wrong of me. But when you just abandoned me like that, do you have any idea how much that hurt? How scared and alone I felt? I around Prince does not cry. You're my first crush. First person I've ever loved turned his back on me. Walked out. I thought you hated me. It hurt so badly I actually got sick. Like literally sick. Even today. Today I was so excited to finally see you again. I thought for hours about what I was going to say. But then you made that crazy demand. I love you so much. Please. Just stop being mean to me. I felt pathetic. Miserable. Ashamed. Turn that down a bit. But if my breakdown would help him understand even just a little bit. Taiga, I love you. I'm not good enough for you right now. What's wrong with the way I am? I looked at him pleading, his tears streaming down my face. After a moment, he said... Oh? Gently, he wrapped his big hands around my shaking fist and tugged them off his shirt. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Once we relocated, oh, once we relocated, what was he gonna say to me? I shrank back as waves of insecurity and fright hit me. <laughs> Taiga started to walk, his hands still wrapped around mine. The warmth of those hands sparked embers of tentative hope in my heart. Yeah. If you play the goddamn credits! Okay, I was about to say, if you play the goddamn credits, I'm gonna strangle your goddamn neck! <laughs> After we bathed that massive scene in front of the Christmas tree, <laughs> the two of us walked to a small plaza a little further away. We weren't at the tree anymore, but there were still romantic couples on dates everywhere we looked. It made things even more awkward, frankly. I even cried in public. <laughs> How long had it been since I last had such a childish outburst? Sorry, what was that? <laughs> I wasn't even sure I cried like that as a child. <laughs> uh huh. Taiga's sudden sigh took me by surprise, and I quickly turned to look at him. He happened to have been looking right at me, and our eyes met. Yeah, exactly. What the hell are you doing? Can you tell me? Yep, back to Spider Plaza! Shimmy fucking Christmas, why this one? Why Spider Plaza? Why Spider Plaza? I guess, is, is Spider Plaza for kissing? Everyone knows Spider Plaza is for kissing. Everyone knows. Spider Plaza? You kiss there. You kiss there. Hold on a second. I have to do something. I set my phone to do something oh, while I was streaming. Oh, okay. Well, hey there. Alright. Yeah, but... That's just how we are. Right? I'd imagine something much sweeter and romantic than that. I want to do it over. No, thank you. I'm much too self-conscious to do that right now. Yes, I hadn't pictured my confession going that way, but if I hadn't had all that stress and tension pushing me along, I doubt I could have said everything on my mind. In that sense, at least the encounter didn't turn into a total train wreck. While I was thinking back on that, Taika paused and then spoke up as if he remembered something. Was it really? Oh! Nah. Okay. Oh, from the very beginning of the game. Gotcha. I love you, but I'm squipping this. Yeah. Happy to get in a fight with you. Well, we've been in a fight now. That was back when I'd only barely met Taiga and was still incredibly wary of everything he said and did. He must have guessed which memory just struck me because he gave me a quick grin. No, it doesn't. It was tiring, really, but I suppose I feel a little better after getting all that off my chest. Neither did you. 
I growled and deliberately turned away from him. I could hear Taiga chuckle wryly. <laughs> Taiga's the imposter! That's why he's right behind the spider plaza. That's why he took us to spider plaza. He's planning to kill us. Oh. Taiga suddenly stopped without warning, bringing me to a halt as well. Seriously? Really? I said nothing. Not that I'd calmed down that much was obvious. I'd raged at him saying that I wouldn't let I wouldn't be me anymore if I abandoned everything I had. But if Taiga actually required that of me, he wouldn't be genuine Taiga either. Yep, you called it, Phantom. You called it. Clap, 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 but awkward because I'm holding this the controller. He would never say anything like that to me. Anybody would have said no to that silly garbage. それでこそお嬢だよなって。またまた惚れ直したぜ。I felt my cheeks warm. I turned away, trying to hide my growing blush. Well, I said no was expected. Now what? Tiger's uh, voice took on a serious note. With my blush out of control, I straightened up and looked at him. What sort of proposal? What? I had to consciously keep my jaw from dropping. He gave me another smirk. お嬢の成長ぶりが怖くて失望されるのが嫌で逃げるような動詞をもねえやつなんだ俺はうんはまい俺がいいって言ってくれんなら俺もこの一世一代のギャンブルに乗るいやわっ前は言ったわいっ待ってそうだろうこの俺と婚約するなんてギャンブル以外の何もないぜ言ったんだってそうだろうこの俺と婚約
Geekers. It's alright. Don't interrupt the kiss scene. Geeks, I love you. Don't interrupt. Say my name? That's what I wanted to explain. And then he kisses me. Wow! Wow! But my words were swallowed up when he covered my lips with his own. Oh, how fair. Saying my name and surprising me with a kiss? Geekers, geekers. Geekers, geekers. My whole body went from lightly chilled to lava hot in a flash. There were so many things I'd wanted to say first. I wanted a warning for starters. I wanted a chance to prepare myself too, but his lips were so gentle on mine. Ah, hi, that's me. <laughs> he releases my lips just long enough to say my name again. Tut. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't able to catch my breath, let alone say his name in return. Not fair at all. Why well, is he the only one who gets to talk? <laughs> ah. And, um, how do you break off a kiss exactly? I need to breathe. I held on and held my breath, desperately trying to feel at the right moment, but how long are you gonna hold that? <laughs> <laughs> Unable to stand it any longer, I took initiative and pushed back that kiss stealing clown. Oh, shit, no! H hush, hush. Alright. You guys can't hear the music, unfortunately. What the hell is that? But, we will get to watch the credits. Kickers, where did you go? Amazing. We did it! We got to Taiga's end. And I think we got to, like, the true love end, because we got all... We got everything. So now, once again, we're going to see... <laughs> Both! Oh, oh this one. We both forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> Romance egg. Oh, a lady's helmet. We want to ride on the motorcycle with him. <laughs> Yeah. I guess because it looks like an egg. Oh my god, his slippers are sharks. His slippers that he's wearing were sharks. The future when Taika begins. Amazing. All right, so now I believe I can pop it up. Oh, okay, gosh, okay, gosh. So then, it's the after. I got a whisk message. New snacks. Eco snacks. Variable bear cake. Surely after surviving the eternal kiss, Tag and I made our way to the back to the Tosha Bay estate and Kamakura bickering along the way. I took a moment to call Kaska and fill him in and learned to my surprise that Ichia and the others were waiting for us at the estate. I agree. Hi, baby. I have no idea. Hi, my love. I'm alone. Um, we're here. I hesitantly peeked into the reception room where everyone was already waiting for us. Uh oh. Not very far, to, to be honest. Mm hmm. Ah, Mm-hmm. 
晴れてますよ。Are you building something? あ、そうだな。あ、no。しまわれちゃいまわれちゃいまわれちゃいまわれちゃいまわれちゃいまわれちゃいまわれちゃいまわれちゃいまわれちゃいまわれ I love that my little earth brother just texted me. Random question, but how are you blanket wise? What? Are you asking if I have enough blankets? The answer is yes. I have many blankets. Aww. Tian whispered to me and glanced towards the seat at the back of the room. Why? Why did you ask me this? I mean, I do love blankets. <gasps> Chat blanket? <laughs> I don't, I think he was gonna offer me a blanket that he doesn't want anymore. Huh? Uh, she always heard me glass back and see it back in the room. Hi, Grandpa. I don't know why you'd be angry at me. I have to get a lot more members of chat before I can get a blanket with all of chat's names on it. Why is he giving us that look? Grandfather glared down at us from his seat, wearing the darkest look I'd ever seen on his face. I took a flinching step backwards. He, he isn't going to deny us, is he? Not after all that. If he does, he's going to hear about it. I took several deep breaths, bringing my nerves under control. Suddenly, I felt warmth surrounding my hand. Yes, I'm fine. I closed my hand around his. My tremors dissipated. Everyone's eyes fell on us as we looked at each other and took a deep breath. Then, in one voice, we spoke. Uh, uh, the two of us. Uh, the two of us. Se no. Konyak shimashita. Are engaged. Oh, Grandpa? <laughs> Got a response? Oh, okay. Oh, eh? <laughs> so you are gonna back up, I'm sorry. Shoganaikara, you are there. Oh, made it all. Oh, made it all. よかった。本当に良かったですね。お嬢さん。俺たちも素直に祝福しているよ。タイガ、お嬢さん。おめでとう。いや、I <笑><笑> <いや>、<笑> I'm sure that Zetetica would like it if you joined our trio. Oh, Akasuga. Oh, my name is Iroiro to Sevani. Mhm. This is not. Congo. Oh, Josa, I'm a I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy. Take a side and rolled his eyes at Casca and cleared his throat. Uh, oi, just to eager. Uh huh. Uh huh, what's he up to? Everyone turned their eyes to Taiga, clearly curious. I looked too, he hadn't told me to plan on saying anything else. What in the world was this about? Taiga looked across everything pres everyone present, then nodding in satisfaction, began to talk. Oh yeah, Casca's mad. Me to know, Tori. Or to Koitsua, he's shown you to eat the Kimita Wakadaga. Oh, my God. あかしつが儀式的なあれをしとこうと思う。え?あ、ritual、what <笑> Oh shit! 
いいから動くなってのは。After humans of having a torment, Taika took me by the wrist and held my palm. じゃーん He wrote his name! My fingers splayed wide. He slowly turned my hand to, to each of the other three. They saw. <laughs> Please don't look at me like that! Taika's name written on my palm in staggering letters. For all of us who never mistaken his plan for ours, the meaning was immediately clear. <laughs> <laughs> Taika's cheerful bed declaration made my cheeks turn bright cheek. <laughs> お嬢さんはプリンじゃないんですから<笑>うっせえ人に取られたくないもんには名前を書いとくもんだって教えだろ<笑>そんなことしなくても誰も知らないもんもう<笑>タイガー字汚いほっとけ読めりゃいいんだよ<笑>はい。Now let's watch this bicker and exchange smiles. Together, all of us enjoyed one of the happiest days in our lives. Happy end to you. Alright, no, go, bye, Grandpa. <laughs> bye, Grandpa. Amazing. Oh, another Wisp message. Alright. We did it! Variable barricade. News. It's all. Mamori mascara. Oh my god. Variable barricade. Gallery. Oh, the new one. Good evening, Prince. Today's day was a lot of fun. Your dress looked adorable and your best purse, but lady, thanks. I should have had to sleep. Did you need anything? No, not particularly. I just wanted, didn't want to say goodnight yet. Why you come sleep with me? Can't do that. Aww. Oh, yes. I saw a kind of new terrarium you'd only be. Oh! Oh, that's right! We were making a new terrarium with, um. Xion. Oh, it has to be kitten themed. I think that kitten being true was awful cute. Ah. Uh, if that's what you like, best that's what we'll do. You really think so? Yes. A kitten that doesn't pounce, doesn't scratch, and doesn't smell. You really don't like cats, do ya? Mind if I sit with you while making it? Not at all. Are you gonna make a new one too? No, I have a different duty to end too. Duty? I have my own kitten to care for. Whoa! Huh? If, if she feels like snuggling, I'd like to hold her. If she's sweet, I'll give her pets. <laughs> Wait a minute, is that kitten? I never told you much. Okay, I guess I'll get this. Oh, no, but me being jealous or just a tease? A good question! Aha, uh -huh, that's a dead giveaway. You're being a tease. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh my god. Yep, Catboy themed. Casca, we too quick making out get over here? Um. Sheesh, both you damn near gave me a heart attack. Uh, it was a relief to see things start out for the best, let me tell you. You aren't Casca. Wait. It's me. Takamune Tojo. Grandfather? How? I beg your pardon, miss. <laughs> this is Casca. <laughs> I'm not certain to send you graphics to French Lashes right away. There was a little message to send a voice message. You could have said it so. I would if you never told me your WIS ID. Is what he tells me. But I didn't know that he even uses WIS. Like, a, like you would have told me if you did know, Stingy Girl. Who are you calling Stingy? Let me see, Miss. He's still, still, he's been sulking. Please give me a voice ID. Do I have to? What's such a nice thing? Look at this. She's shaking to your business. Tell me how I have a hard time. I'm gonna be a handful. Things weren't that correct, though. Yes, yeah, they did. I didn't even know that. That was a secret. Hey! Today, guys, for sure, he's some soft spots, too. Be sure to pop, pop him up when he is in sport. Not that I expect I'll have to tell you that more. Don't yeah, bother. Never mind that for now. I already know. I asked how you know already. Please answer the question. Anyway, hurry yourself to come. Good, I'm waiting for you. Run 
father. Hello! I found maybe you've missed. Please hurry. Casca, what did you mean? Waiting for you. Casca, Casca! <laughs> I really love the thought of Casca just yelling, quit making out already. All right, Taiga, let's go on a date. You got time tomorrow, right? So let's go. By the way, you aren't allowed to refuse. I mean, it's a date with me, your most favorite guy ever. Me? Are you sure you're not just talking about you? Huh? You're overjoyed to go on a date with me, your favorite guy ever. Whoa, whoa, dial it back, babe. <laughs> you're get there. That's my line. Oh, well, it's true. That goes for both of us. Man, I did to go date. Great, I'm so happy. Hello? Say something, come on. Where are you taking me? I don't know, where do you want to go? Oh, wherever. Oh, really? So you're happy with wherever as long as it's with me? I feel so loved. I'm speechless. Oh, shut up. Where are we going? Your room. What? Kidding. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, you're so crass. Forget you. Amazing. We did it, guys. We did it. We got the uh, good end. There are some other stuff to get when we do bad ends, but for right now, we've reached the end of Taiga's route. We did it! We did it! No! Not the gator part! <laughs> Oh, but oh my god, I'm tired. It's been almost seven hours. Huh. So it is time for me to pop on over here. Alright, you guys know the usual song and dance. If you're not already following me on social media, I would appreciate it if you would. And uh, if you already are, if you would share me with someone you think uh, would like my content, that would be super, super awesome. Yeah! Oh my god, this has been a long stream. Holy fucking shit. Um, truly, I don't think I've gone for seven hours before. I don't think even my birthday or anniversary streams have been this long. <laughs> I'm tired. I want to eat food. So I'm going to go eat food. Um, all right. So yeah. Um, oh yeah, as usual, I hope you have a wonderful meowing, afternoon, evening. No. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever time it is for you. All right. Well, without any further ado, bye-bye.